Awesome. We are on. Welcome to their side. This is the interview series of uh, skateboarding legends from Victoria. Uh, we call that skateboarding legends, and that's a very broad terminology because it can be people that have just been involved in skating, people that are uh, right there at the pinnacle of the skating in this town, but we're going to chat to a lot of people. And today we've got a great guest on board. Uh, first, before our guest, I would like to just say thanks to a couple of our supporters here at their side. One of which, starting with the Gage Road Brewery, single fin brew at the moment. Um, there it is. <laughs> Goliath, uh, which is the venue for our lovely interview space. Uh, thank you very much to Pete at Goliath, who we'll introduce in a moment as well. And a couple of the um, supporters who have financially donated a, a little bit of money as well, which is one of the fundamentals to help their side continue on. So thanks to Sandra Jarrett and Junior, who will actually be one of our guests very shortly as well. Without further ado, I'd love to introduce, because I'm really excited about this one, love to introduce our guest, David Quirk. Should I clap myself? <laughs> Hello. Yes. Good to be here. Thank yeah. you, John. Thank you, Dean. I'm Good so, to see you. I'm so keen to have uh, an opportunity to have a chat to We've known each other for quite a few years. I think I would have met you very early on when you moved to Melbourne. But yes. um, there is a lot of stuff I don't know about you. And there is a lot of stuff that people listening or watching also probably don't know about you. Or, yeah, or um, care to know, maybe. Probably, but, yeah. we'll, but you're a man we'll of make many learn. facets. So yeah. skateboarding is a part of it. Uh, there's all sorts of other stuff That's in true. there as well. So we'll, we'll venture through some of those. And uh, I would also like to introduce our panel. We've got a couple of additional people to help out, throw some questions around. So I've got my brother Grant, who some people have seen before. Mum knows him as well. Uh, and <laughs> and Pete, Hi, Mum. So of course you uh, yes. And Pete Franklin, who obviously is one of the uh, yes. great supporters of their side with our venue space here, but also runs the uh, shop out the behind us there, which is a fantastic skate shop that has a true essence of skateboarding in it. Uh, Smells Pete, like skateboarding. Yeah, right. thanks very much. And Pete also is uh, someone that knows seen. Dave fairly well, so right. there's going to be some hard-hitting questions coming through, I'm sure, from all avenues. Yeah, it's... Buckle up. <laughs> uh, so, Dave Quirk... <clears throat> Yes. To us, you're known as a skateboarder. We've known you, uh, well, you're known as a person to us. We, we know you more than just that. That's but true, yeah. Pre predominantly as a skateboarder. Um, you've also been a comedian through those years as well, and I've come and watched quite a few of your shows and mm -hmm. um, been a, a part of that, which has been fun and very good to see some of the su success you had during the, uh, the comedy stuff as well. Yeah. Uh, but really, we want to sort of get a bit of a background on where it all came from. So, uh, first of all... Stand-up comedy? Or skating? No, I'd no. rather talk about the skating yeah, I think, a little bit. I thought we were here to talk. We're skating. not just predominantly skating because it is going yeah. to be about you. Okay? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. if there's something else in there that you want to talk about, such as any rollerblading experiences, you could add those in there if you want. So Yeah, that's a mar black mark on my... <laughs> we'll get to the rollerblading at some point. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Um, hey, at least it's not scooters. That's true. <laughs> that's true. It could have been, though, if I was coming up at this stage. Who knows? One thing I'd like to start with is, first of all, happy birthday, because yesterday you were 38 years old. That's true. Yeah. 38. And, not 40, sadly. No. A, a lot yeah. of people probably are rubbing their uh, chins going, hmm, I thought he was older, because you skate older. I skate older. Yeah. Um, you're a carver. You're a, sh a slasher. Yeah, yeah. You, a shredder. Uh, a shredder, yeah. But it's, uh, it's one of those things that is uh, a bit, sometimes people, you know, yeah. get a look at someone and think, oh, he's... You know, I do get that actually from sort of older guys, Moss guys think that I must have been around in the well, at least the early 80s or something. Not that I hope I don't look that old, but um, definitely got something to do with the people you've appreciated in skating, yeah, which yeah, have come yeah. from an older era. Yeah, and it really makes my ollies suck now. I can only ollie up, <laughs> up gutters. Whereas if you'd see me skating in when I started, like got right into it in like 94, I couldn't do that at all. I must have, I didn't know about loosening your trucks, I didn't know. I could only do flip tricks, literally. I was a full-fledged street skater. That's why I still love good street skating. Mm. But I think I just got into all of it. Now it's just... Oh, it's good. I think carving and riding ramps and parks and bowls, you can age with it quite well. Yes. Oh. Yeah, oh. Maybe, maybe that's why I've done it. I've, found I've, I've deferred to the bowls. And yeah. as we've discussed yeah. previously, I love trannies, apparently. So yeah. Of transition right. Yeah. Specifically. Oh, okay. yeah. The transitions, yeah. Think, so, yeah, it yeah. becomes a bit nicer to carve around, flow around a park and kind of do that kind of stuff. Totally. So. What, what do you think influenced you in that area? Pushing towards this area? Any, uh, anyone or anything? You yeah, almost. Actually, well, we, we might get to that topic 
because first of all, I do want to understand how he got into skateboarding because he grew up in a country town, mm. Popanka, which Proper is country like, town, yeah. how big is that town? Um, it has, strangely and brilliantly, it has a ski hire, but um, <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't do so well anymore, what with global warming and all. But, um, You're not there's, allowed to say the a... globe around Pete. Oh, yeah, so No, that's okay, it's fine. <laughs> Beep, all warming. And, um, <laughs> Uh, and there's a there's a pub and there's a um, post office and there was a general store. There was nothing there. It's just a tiny so little strip. I'm picturing not much concrete. No, there's footpaths, but yeah, yeah. like the, that's it. And then so and how five do you ten get minutes into from there, in a, in a town like that. Well, next door, up the road is Bright, a town, lovely town, ship of Bright, and um, that's a bigger town, but still, it's there still was good. nothing there. Didn't encourage skateboarding. A skate park didn't get put there till, you know, till. Uh, mid to late 90s. By that stage I'd already got into skating, even quit it for a little bit, got back into it, and then they put in a six foot metal ramp, mm, half pipe, yes. which was de sort of deadly really. It was like a and mini paran. It's under the it trees, like so all the uh, leaves and corns. Yeah, 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 it's totally <laughs> deadly. Yeah. I think and that was a standard ramp that turned up in quite a few places around that time. Yeah, yeah, the standard. There's one down yeah. at Jakarta, there's one out at West Meadows yeah, or somewhere. Yeah, hectic steel yeah. ramp. Yeah. River's all metal. Yeah, so do you and they're nice if you fall on them in the summer, aren't oh, they? Nice yeah. 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 Maybe it was awesome bird. one of those ones that the town built it, you know, because a lot of the time in those the further out areas like Bairnsdale and Lakes Entrance, they, they built their, they decided to build their own parks. Yeah, the yeah. rotary clubs and stuff. Got yeah, yeah, which is good. It's, a, it's better than nothing. Better but than back nothing. then there was, um, so this is, I sort of, I remember I wrote to you, told you half my life story in a Facebook message. You did, yeah. But, um, it was very, and I got it on he Valentine's said, Can you give us some so things to, yeah, yeah, it was like a little novel. We should just print that and show it, hold up your phone to the camera or something. But um, uh, there was only three skaters. So in 93, 94, when I really got into skateboarding, um, there was only myself, this other guy, Marcus Whirl, who was a sponsored snowboarder. He was great and a great skateboarder too. Um, he was a good guy, I don't know. He's a little bit older, like by a year or so. But there was myself, him, and my good friend, Rob Wilshire, who is the guy that sort of got me off the blades, not that I ever got into the blades. I never, we need to cover the roll blade thing, I can't believe that's even come up. Did they come from the um, ski hire, perhaps? No, they were just popular in like 92, remember that? And I was a kid, I was 12 or something. Unfortunately I do remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah but the dark that. days. Yeah. But um, there was three skaters between that whole part of the valley up in North East and Albury Wodonga where you'd find more skateboarders because it was a real town. town you know? yeah, but yeah. It, in hindsight, it was fascinating that I got into skateboarding, you know, in the way that I did. But maybe that's why, because it was not a dead time. Can now it's big, it's big again, right? Like it's yeah. about to be yeah, in the Olympics going, right? and stuff. And so anyone, it's everywhere. You can see how a kid might gravitate towards it. I, it's, I'm pretty happy that that's something I got into. Yeah. Yeah, yeah at the time. Yeah. And like most of us, you had I to suppose, find it. You had to look to find it. And it's more than just the the tricks and the things like that. It created a lifestyle for you, didn't it? Essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Mm. A, a whole outlook, I think. Yeah. Like. Um, so even yeah, well, it's hard to say. It's like the chicken or the egg. It's like, am I the way I am? Like a sort of, of a sort of a punk-ish ethos or something because of skateboarding, or was I? But I think skateboarding. Like mm -hmm. my dad and family tried to get me into footy and tennis and stuff, and I like I got respect for all those sports, but that just never sort of took, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Probably the same for you guys, you know, in the things you're into, I guess. Yeah. So do you remember right back to your first board <clears throat> that you had? Yeah, I remember. Well, it, with the, I remember it's like there was a, in my dad's shed, there was an old 70s, literally a 70s fiberglass board, flat, no concave, no nothing. And it was, it was, it was ruined, but it rolled really well. Mm -hmm. And it did it have turn, yeah, clay had, wheels? No, or? not clay. Not that, that, so it had yep. urethane wheels, which was great. But that's what I learned to ride on. And we had this veranda around our house, like a big concrete veranda. So that was good as well. I learned a lot of tricks there. Cool. But, um, that was the first skateboard I remember riding. But I remember I was so young that I can't recall the year exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. but I just knew it sort of felt right. I remember I learnt, um, there's a couch that this dog, the dog used to sleep on. And, on the uh, veranda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd roll up and then jump onto the couch, run across and then jump back on the board. Yeah. Like, yeah. like years later I'd realise that's like Bart Simpson would do or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't identify it as a trick, it was just a thing you did with the, the fun little thing you were riding. That was the space you had. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the interpretation of what you had to play with. Yeah. 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 So that would have been in the mid to late 80s probably, mm -hmm. I'm guessing when I was... And then, so there was obviously a bit of a gap as you grew up and did other things, but then found... Uh, you wanted a new, uh, an actual, you know, pro model type skateboard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That How would, old would you have been then? I must have been 10, 
10 or so, 10 yeah. or 11, and I got a Voodoo 2 Veriflex, which I thought was <laughs> what, an amazing What colour? Pink. The pink, that yeah, hot pink yeah, one. yeah. And, uh, it was certainly popular. Yeah, yeah, it was big on it, but I didn't know any of that. I just, someone probably recommended it in the shop and my mum was happy to buy it. And Yeah, it had everything, you know, rails and the nose guard and yeah. all the, oh, yeah, lappers. the whole, and, lappers, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it did, it did. And I didn't even know how to get up, I didn't know how to skate. Like it was, even though I learnt to ride that other skateboard, I didn't know how to, I didn't know about magazines or anything, so I didn't know about tricks. Too, yeah. Still too young to fully get that side of it. Mm -hmm. So you just knew of skateboarding? Of yeah, I don't remember having a yeah. big relationship with that board, if that makes sense. I, don't, yeah. I just remember having it and cruising around on it. I, I suppose out there, it's not like the local stores get a man up and buy skateboarding mags that's either. It. That's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've got three skaters in the town. Yeah, yeah three it. skaters yeah, yeah. in the whole region. Yeah, 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 yeah it was, yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, they're not going to invest in skate mags. They yeah. should have, but they didn't know. <laughs> right. but, um, <laughs> Who knows where you would have been? You might have got a pro model like back years back. ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> don't deserve it much more now. Yeah. yeah, and so yeah. that was your first sort of proper board, so to speak. But you yeah, that was still at that board, point. Though. You still didn't really get into it. I didn't know the very effects was crap. So. Put it that way. Yeah, it was, so better, it was well, better than my old pro. Totally got a lot of kids rolling though. Yeah, that's I don't it. Think yeah. They're, yeah, they're yeah. one of those things that we all uh, in our era it was one of those things that you knew a Veriflex board was that stepping stone to totally. a pro yeah, model. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Right. Imagine yeah. how many it was better than a Kmart. No, totally. Well, that's yeah. right. Imagine yeah. how many kids have started on a Kmart yeah. board and then went, I can't do this. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Thanks, yeah. Kmart. Well, you see it now. <laughs> you see it now, though. Kids, you know, yeah, some of those boards are just horrible. Like, my mother will come into the, the shops skate. that I've worked in and say, I, I bought this for my son. It was, it was $25 from some shop. Yeah, yeah. Like, Can you just sort of make it work? I'm like, not really. No. You know? yeah, well, that's, that's right. why it was no? 25 bucks. My bearings yeah. cost 40 bucks and then the, and the wheels are plastic. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, they've got yeah. to pay up three times the amount just to get it wrong. So, but yeah, that, you're right. It was very flexible crap. Well, I mean, since then I've learned how good, you know, Alan Mosey was, you know, so they, had a, they were great. Mm -hmm. saying, I found out later that I think the Tony quality Allen of the was, decks was uh, as good or whatever. One of their big well. ones. Yeah, yeah. Um, no so what sort of influences did you have back then? Like, that's one of the other things we're sort of talking about here is that you're in a little town, there's not much else going on. You've found skateboarding through some way, you, whether it be friends at school or you just, you know, that was the cool thing to do. But what actually influenced you to take, or to get into it and then to actually fall in love with it? What was that sort of influence there? What was the thing that went in your in inside that said, oh, I love this. Well, the, yeah, yeah. There was a few years went by, and I probably, which I don't even remember anything about those years, but there, there was a time when this guy, Rob, well, Rob Wilshire, this guy was single-handedly the reason why I would start skating, because he st stood out to me. He stood out in this crowd of all these other kids, and he's still one of my best friends. I was just his best man, actually, which was the first time I've ever done that awesome. speech. Congrats, yeah. Rob. Congrats, Rob, <laughs> if you're watching. He's in Japan right now, so. Um, riding powder, he loves to snowboard. Oh. But he just, I, this this is a story not about skateboarding, but it's about how my brain might work and how. Well, that's a part of what this <laughs> is. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. going to be interesting. <laughs> All right, you need to up. Strap so, up, strap it is in. about skateboarding <laughs> to me. But um, we, we had to do this uh, year seven, um, it was at the end of grade six, so I was still very, quite young. And we had to go on this orientation camp to, for the high school we were going to go to in Myrtleford, Victoria, just up the road from Paul Punker and Bryce. And, um, it's actually quite a big town as well. It is. It's yeah, it is. Yeah, for the country. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, they now have a half decent bowl skate park. Last time I went there, it was a really crappy metal. Yeah, they, couple of bags they're still there, there so but they put they've put a nice concrete, concrete section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. It's all right. It's oh, all right. Cool. And um, we had. To, I just remember we had to go to Mount Buffalo, uh, which if you haven't been, I recommend it. It's good. It's beautiful. Place, yeah. yeah. And we were walking along this bush track. Everyone's getting to know each other. These kids from different primary schools. And I'd sort of fell in with like a, because of maybe my nature, the, the, the sort of the jock type kids. The, these guys took a shine to me and they were real friendly and they're like, you know, quirk, quirky, you're all right. <laughs> and so a couple of days had gone by and I was like, oh, I've got some mates, that's cool, you know. And not thinking about skateboard or anything, because that was a few years ago when I was a real young kid. And I'm walking along this bush track with these guys and the rest of the class. And I clearly remember I'd seen this we had to ride our bikes to it as well. We were, I rode a shitty mountain bike and so did sort of everyone except this one kid, Rob, rode a, like a low rider. You know, one of those like swept out forks. And he had, he sort of looked a bit odd and he'd caught my eye earlier. He sort of had a really crazy sort of la lazy eye and stuff and just looked a little sort of wild, right? And we were walking along this track and he just broke out of the line, right? And he came right up to me with, 
I'll never forget it, with a full-size magnifying glass. God knows why he had it. Probably burning ants or something. <laughs> but he just came right up to me. It was like it was a psychedelic, it's like a psychedelic memory or something. Because he came up to me and just went and held it up to my eye, this, this magnifying glass, and just goes, whoa, dude, you've got a Mondo eye. Like that. And I was just like, and then he just kept walking. You've got a Mondo eye, right? And I was just like, what the, f what just happened? Like, who is that dude, right? And I remember just, it just blew my mind. It's like, mo the word Mondo, like, no one says it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, this guy's awesome. And I just turned around to this other kid, one of the jocks, and I was like, who's that? And I go, um, who's that guy? And this kid, Brett Jackson, I think his name was, he just goes, oh, that's Rob, he's a dickhead. <laughs> And I was like, that was actually the turning point when I was like, oh, like if he's a dickhead, then fucking sign me up to the fucking Mondo dickhead <laughs> yeah. class. You know? like, because I'm like, that's who I want to be around. And that was it. Yeah, yeah. And so that wasn't a uh, skating influence at that point. No. So you didn't know he, that he was a skater or not, whatever? No, no. He wasn't actually a skater, but he'd, I found out later, had all these thrashes from the late 80s and stuff. And he, was, he liked skating at a young age, more than I did. Like, he collected the magazines and stuff. But yeah. he wasn't skating at the time. And then one day when we became friends... But you friends, were going to just... You, you'd fallen in love with whatever he was about and you yeah. wanted to do... Yeah. Fell in love with his yeah. essence. Yeah. No. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Mm. He's, uh, and then one day he just said to me, okay, there was a dark period where he said rollerblading's cool. I'm like, is it? Uh. Let's... Okay. <laughs> and he was actually... Cool. I'm just being totally honest now. I, I would have omitted this part of my life, but... I might as well be honest. And he was quite good at it, which was good, I guess. So he could do like crazy legs, things yeah, like he that. He could do things on ramps, like little yeah. lip tricks and stuff. And I was really shit at it, which in a way I'm proud of. It's like, I was <laughs> never, never able to do it, so I shouldn't yeah. do it. And um, that lasted for a few months or maybe six months or something. But then he goes, you know what's cool? Skateboarding. Yeah. And I said, oh, that's well, cool. that's actually good because I can ride a skateboard. Like I remember I used to ride one when I was really young. Like there's no problem. And so that was it. And our first board I had was one he made. He hand, hand made this board, it was about that thick, probably about 10 ply or something. <laughs> and wow. so he yeah. bent it and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it wasn't very good. Yeah. But I learned tricks on it. I think I learned kickflips on that board. Wow. Yeah. And then I got, I think it was a year before I got my first actual board, which was a consolidated board, a Karma, mm. Karma Toshif, or whatever his name is. Yeah, yeah. Toshif, yeah. yeah. And um, that, yes, that was it. So in terms of influences, Rob was one of your big influences. Yeah, Rob, yeah. Had, yeah, Rob Wilshire. Mm. Yeah. And then as you time. got into skating a bit more, and what about skating influences? What sort of next sort of... At that time? Yeah, I mean, did you see, um, obviously still in a small town like that, did you look to Melbourne and go, oh, look at the dudes in Melbourne? Or were you still yeah. just looking at magazines and videos and, and taking inspiration from some of those guys? Well, that sort of both, there? because Rob... It's like Rob had done everything that I hadn't done. Like Rob had been to Melbourne. If yeah, that makes sense. Right. yeah, yeah. He'd been to Melbourne. He told he'd me he'd been to Albury, but not Melbourne. Yeah, I'd never. Yeah. Well, I'd probably been there, but not yeah. knowing the, that side that it was, yeah. it was a cool, amazing skate scene or anything yeah. like that. And I was just learning about this. But we had magazines. We were reading Thrasher, Transworld, and Slam mainly. So I didn't uh, denote any difference between any of those magazines. Like to me, Slam was Thrasher mm -hmm. at the time. I was like, because yeah, yeah. it, was, it was really good back then, even in the early 90s, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. And there was guys like Al Boglio and, yeah, um, yeah. oh shit, I'd see pictures of Greg Stewart, who yeah. I now skate with. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah. odd couple go skating together Mark, all the time. Mark Davis, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so the, like a, that sort of street skating was what blew my mind a lot. Ryan Denner is. I thought he yeah. was great because he was so tech. Oh, Ryan was yeah. rad. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that I've ever met the guy. I wouldn't even, I don't even know what he looks like. But I just remember going, that guy's really good. Yeah. I remember thinking that. And um, I was in love with Chris Markovich, mm -hmm. the American. Yep. And Prime Skateboards was, I loved at the time. So that's the sort of skating I was into. Really sort of that 94, which was a golden era actually for skateboarding, I reckon. Sure. Yeah, yeah. It was starting it was like to find I said, it was like the early again. 80s. It was sort of, yeah, exactly. Yeah, because it went through that early 90s was where it got a bit rubbishy and then it started yeah, to Yeah, I sort of got right into it just after the wheels got a little bit bigger. The, yeah. I, 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 the magazines that Rob had had all the stuff of the like, boards like the shape, that shape, or a bit still big, yep. mm. but the wheels were tiny. I got into it when, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like Jason Lee was looking good and Ethan Fowler and those guys. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Wheels were like you'd ride a 
52 or 54. What, yeah, once pretty, it, yeah, pretty once usable. It hit, once it hit 52, it never looked back. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. And it's still 52 but yeah. today, but, but primarily. Top, yeah, 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 absolutely. So I sort of feel like I got a good, my, even though I missed out on all 80 skateboard, I never got to see it. And that's why I love it so much now. That's mm-hmm. why I like yeah. people yeah. telling me stories about, you know, the demos out in Torquay or whatever it is. Or, but what, I, what influenced me hard was that. That era, yeah. And so then where were you skating at that time? Because you're still in a small town. You're still growing up at Port Punka, so... We'd go to Bright, and uh, there was a clock tower. that's still there, but you can't skate it anymore. Um, in the city, in the... Yeah, the in centre, the centre of the, town. Yeah, yeah. Did you get it shut down? No, we, had, we did run into some problems because it was a war memorial. And I remember people would write letters to support the skaters, their right to skate it, like... This is people are saying this is what they died for the freedom to <laughs> skate on the skate. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Um, so we skated. It was great. It was just like a, a short run up with four longish sort of stairs. Each step was about that long. And I remember the first day at Ollie that that felt good. But um, that was yeah, that was a place to skate a lot. And the the, the high school had some stuff. And one of um, this guy Marcus Well was probably better than Rob and I. Oh, he definitely was, but he would. There was a big set of stairs. Well, big for us was probably about, about six or seven stairs, but he was kick flipping those at the time and yeah. seemed pretty revolutionary. Yeah. So, wow. That been good. Like talking about ollies and stuff, like I've heard a rumor that you haven't performed an actual flat ground ollie since late summer of 97. Yeah, Is that's that true. true. That's true. It's probably a bit pretty. earlier, actually. <laughs> I've actually never done an ollie. Yeah? No, I haven't. I've even got... Little, my shoes are a bit worn out from the few ollies that I do do. Yeah, yeah. Um, I do do. Um, I do do, yeah. <laughs> that's all right. I'm, Great. That's a, that's a fair enough question, actually. I was wondering with, like, even skating influences in the country, like, which farm animal do you think would be the best skater? Um, I wasn't ready for these questions. Neither was I. <laughs> it just came to me then, so... This I'm, is... I'd say goat, I reckon. Yeah, the goat. Goats are actually actually really rad. Because of the acronym as well. Goat, greatest of all time. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's got to be a goat. Double double meaning. And they're slightly nuts, like that mate of yours that was an influence. They probably got that same... He had a goatishness about him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. I saw a sheep on uh, Instagram the other day do this wall ride and then ninja kick the farmer. Which, it's like if you That's put a combination of tricks together these days, put wall him ride and ninja kick, yeah, yeah. that'd be on, like certainly on, out. yeah, that'd be on Thrasher. Yeah. Totally. So, so it could be a goat combination with a sheep, one yeah. end a goat, one end a sheep. Yes, absolutely. It's took a sharp turn. This you know what, it's actually, i tell you what, it's actually a fair more, it's a more, it's a more coherent answer yeah, than yeah, I was yeah, expecting. Yeah, yeah. I thought this is the stuff he's going to bring out, but look, listen to us. We are idiots. No, that's good. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. I just wanted to... Um, Sorry, I was, I, I was getting a bit sincere, wasn't I? I was like, shut up about you. No, freaking... sincerity is good. It's all right. We know no, you this is your story. People we don't care out. what shape it comes this in. This is my side. You can always yeah, do yeah. a second one. Yeah, we'll just <laughs> edit out goats. Just edit out the first. Definitely. Thrash has got a scapegoat. Edit out the first 20 minutes, I reckon. We'll start with the goat question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, oh, damn, it's live, isn't it? Concrete. <laughs> Straight, yeah. it's like writing your name in concrete. Oh, man, like, yeah, Pete yeah. is gay. So back then in that era, we... Were you going to visit like uh, demos or comps and stuff in your area or something, or what? What sort of else kept you motivated we'd, for skating? Was it just the down, three of you guys in the town? It must have been something more. We try and go down to the farm and watch the the goats skate as, <laughs> as often as possible because they were really good. Did any um, of them have a good like a style as far as like what they wore and how who were they brushing well, their hair? The hard, curl of their tail, or the the feet of hard to skate with those sort of yeah, like pigs. It's really hard, hooved. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, the, the whirly grabs. I think. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember Wangaratta had a bowl, um, this sort of donut bowl. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. yeah. yeah Jesus, really that was kind of mellow. Yeah, yeah. 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 K- kinky and stuff. Yeah. So Rob, Rob, and, Rob, Rob's family took me there, and we oh, I couldn't drop in at the time, and. Uh, I just remember shitting myself. I, I remember not getting on my board the whole day. And I, I was, oh, I was that into it, Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was kids, do, older dudes skating. And yeah. looking back, that was so weak. But I was just so... I'd never seen... Not that it was a demo, but I'd never been to a skate park like that. I'd probably never been to a skate park. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was yeah. like going to Melbourne to me. Just yeah, like transition was yeah, something. Yeah, it was yeah, what's experience. going on? Look at the shapes of this thing. Yeah. And I was just... I brought this story up to someone the other day because I was skating St Kilda and... Just realising how kids... Were you practising for today? That's why you bring the story up? I was trying to do ollies. And, um, Mad. <laughs> on the um, flat? Yeah, on the flat? Yeah, no, I was trying no. to do them. Yeah. Actually, I really can't do them anymore, <laughs> to be honest. 
the board doesn't even say flat. But um, the, ki- the way kids are, um, like, n- not even fearless. They're fearless in kind of the wrong way. Like, they have no sort of respect for the skate park or... Mm. or for they're not intimidated they at all. Gravity. In, in, in the wrong gravity. kind of way. Yeah. It's yeah. like, you should at least... I don't know, it was weird. And I just thought I was petrified. Maybe that's how that's why it's lasted a long time for me. Maybe. <laughs> and you look at how some of the kids are these days. Like as as you were saying, then like some of the kids that are like ten years old skating vert and just doing nuts stuff like five mm. forties without pads and mm. like you're just looking at it going seriously, what the hell? How did you yeah. get like that? Like that's it's it. Complete, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lack of respect for like physics and stuff. Really. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> no, I, think, I think it's what they yeah. see though. You know, like. It, you know, like you guys grew up in a era of limited, yeah, limited tricks and, stuff, and imagery you know? and everything. And I guess now, yeah, they've been seeing five forties for so long, I, so they might. The, oh, I watched the Andy Mac Nine Club the other day, and then this this little like clip pops up, you know, because that's what Google does. And at the end of one of his tricks, uh, in this clip, it's a boot, it's a, some skate park. He did a whole checkout on. It does this massive fly out of this bowl, and then does a sex change. And I just thought, far out, we've got this little kid, Ahmed, we sponsor. I filmed it and sent it to him. Two weeks later, he's doing it out of Noble. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I just, I just that's got, pretty rad. That's insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it doesn't, no. Yeah. It's like, well, that's normal. Yeah, mm. well, that's it. Yeah, I've seen it so I can do it. That's it. Yeah. It yeah. makes me think of um, when, yeah, like. Goats are doing it. Mm. Yeah, they absolutely. They do awesome sex changes. So Pardon me. Anyway. Thank you for the beer. Shark fin. Thank you. Single fin. Sh- thank you. When I'm <laughs> single fin. <laughs> when I skate, I drink. I've got a shot fin. one. Yeah. Uh, like um, when I have a birthday, I celebrate with single fin by Gage Rhodes. Hey, look, we should uh, <laughs> chink one. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers, gentlemen. Uh, Cheers. Back to what we were talking about about demos instead of goats. Mm. Demos, comps. Did you get involved in those things in those years? And and was that a stoke? Absolutely for you? Did not. Did you get stoked on that? No, stuff? no, not at all. Oh, I probably got. St- I don't remember. I kind of only skated for, at the time, high school. Yeah. That 94 period for about a year, and two years maybe. And okay. then I sort of gave it away because I was a weird kid and um, my friend started smoking marijuana, which yeah, I know. The devil's lettuce. Yeah, absolutely. And <laughs> I, was, you know, I was just a really weird kid. And I, you know, my family was like, I came from this weird sort of Catholic sort of upbringing. And not that these guys ever tried to push it on me or anything. They didn't at all. But it got to a point where I was like, oh, it's wrong. And I, was, I guess skateboarding's wrong if, if this is what it leads to. It's connected to. If my parents knew, you know, all this sort yeah, of... Yeah. So and you I started was... writing letters to the council to tell them to stop skating on the, on the <laughs> yeah. monument? Yeah, this is not what point, our... Those yeah, soldiers yeah, died for our right for. to smoke bongs. Yeah. Exactly. Um, no, but... Are you sure you weren't pulling bongs because you were rollerblading at the start and you had to... Yeah, it it pleasure. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You had to nullify the pain of the rollerblading memory. The truth. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's. Can't believe it's true. Um, okay. Four, what Everyone is it? did. Eight, four, not eight. Or whatever. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, that's right. Oh, oh, Brian, oh, 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 Brian Mason's movie? Yeah. It's an alternate. Uh, four, yeah. not eight. Yeah, yeah, simple, non offensive yeah, way of yeah. saying rollerblading is not as good as skateboarding. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I thought you just meant you're rollerblading on one There was a shop in Canberra. There was actually a shop in Canberra called Four Wheel Circus in the early 90s. That's good. That's good. Um, I have no idea what I was saying, but um, yeah, I think we were talking about oh, you had a break from skating. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah and, I, um, right. and so you were just like, and you thought it'd be oh, yeah, almost, it was almost evil at that time. Yeah, I sort of did, but I, I remember this one tragic day when I came home. My my wall of my bedroom was wall to wall A4. Just pictures. hold on one moment there. What are we up to? Like twenty minutes, and someone's already taken a piss. Thirty minutes. Oh, yeah. God. Sorry roll. about this ingrown hair. That is reading on camera. No, we've got you on this side. You're not meant to turn around that way. I'm working on that. If, um, <laughs> it's a real skateboarding injury. Um, Flat ground stuff. He went to the toilet. Normally I have to go to the toilet. Oh, man, he's I'm bad surprised. at it. Like, literally, we're lucky to have got 20 minutes out of him. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's good. That is a good day. Yeah. It's a good day. <laughs> and Grant doesn't have to pee. That's yeah. good. Maybe we could get an incontinent pad um, sponsor. Yeah, how do we work? Yeah. Uh, one of the things that I'm finding about this is we start talking about something and all of a sudden we're talking about something totally different really quickly. Is it yeah. just, it's is like it we us? To, we must focus. Yeah. <laughs> I think well, it's great. Yeah. No, but then I got back into skating and then I moved to Melbourne basically and mm-hmm. then the other Did man... Did you move to Melbourne because of skating or just it was at no, your no, time? No, I moved to Melbourne to, to try and do, uh, be, to do acting work or to get a job in a 
as a act, theater actor or something mm -hmm. That's or paid study. Off for you. Yeah, yeah, maybe twenty years later, um, yeah. <laughs> maybe it's paid off. It hasn't really. Um, I'm working on it. Yes, ongoing. But um, then I got a job so that I, I could either thank or blame. The man is in the room. That's Pete over here. Pete mm -hmm. Franklin was also a big influence in how the rest of my sort of adult life would turn out. <laughs> We're just looking at Grant crawl under the camera there like an absolute bottom feeder. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah. uh, how was that good? It was all right. Yeah. You must have turned. Oh, you don't no, have. No, I haven't got the mic. They've, they, they've learned. They've experienced. No, clip got, on mic. You don't want to hear that sound, dude. That hard piss. Um. I read the good fart while I was in there, though. It would have been good on the mic. <laughs> oh God. Anyway. I'm sure that's what the listeners at home want to hear. The acoustics in those <laughs> toilets are, they are pretty good. Where one beer in, anything could happen. Yeah. And oh. we are <laughs> sidetracked again mm. from you thanking Pete for giving you a job. I was getting sincere again. Yeah. Wasn't I? Um, no, but I guess that was a. a I had no experience in working at all, like full time at all, let alone retail. And I moved to Melbourne and I was, I guess skateboarding was still a big part of me just moving here because I would just go into the sale yards, if, let rip. Um, I'd go into Queen, what's it called now? Queen Vic? Vic? QV? QV. QV. Yeah. QV. Yeah. And um, I'd skate there every day. I had no job, I was probably 18 and I just would skate. I'd look for work, I suppose, but I was trying to study as well. And, I just, that's when I met all those guys. And so I get, got influenced again. This is probably before I got my first job. I'd, I remember seeing like Tom Reese. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I remember he rocked up to this, the park in overalls and work boots. <laughs> and he did, he kick flipped off this um, really hard metal. Remember the, yeah, how yeah. terrible, but it was, uh, it was about this high. A hard thing to ollie off. He cleared the whole thing. It's probably about as big as the table, but hard to ollie off, at least in my opinion, because I yeah. don't ollie. But um, he kickflipped it, and what he was wearing was these boots, and it was awesome. I just thought, what the fuck? And yeah. I remember seeing Anton Jean Day skate, and that was sort of, he was the first guy I saw. I already liked tricks and cool stuff, cool tricks, cool moves, but he was riding a skateboard, but sort of just sort of somehow looked different or looked yeah, yeah. better. Yeah, or he looked, so he looked other. Flowy, you know what I mean? I was just style. like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I'd never seen, I'd never thought about style, even though I. You like guy at certain skaters for a certain reason. Yeah, yeah. He was the first one I thought, what's he, do? something about the way he does it. Is. Yeah, yeah. And um, that's when I sort of fell in love mm. with his skating, I suppose. It, effortless. I think everyone yeah, fell yeah. in love with his skating, though. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. amazing. Rad. But, uh, yeah, so that was, that was amazing. I, mean, I remember meeting at, Jaffa. And, were you no, working at Yodgies at that point? No. I'm probably a year or two. I can't really remember, Pete. When, it's probably when you moved to Flemington and you lived with the Wookiee and yeah, but that was all, all the dudes. I was there for about four years in that house. So oh, right. somewhere about a year, or well, year and a half after. Eventually ventured out. Yeah, yeah. And I, I must have just put in for the, or put a resume in or something, did I? Which no, I think you just turned in. up one day and I think I'd seen you out and about at a few of those sale yards comps and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. And then I think we kind of liked each other and yeah. you just sort of talked me into giving you a job. It's a solid hiring policy that you've got there. Yeah. It was pretty fascinating given... Can I have a job, please? No, no, it wasn't like... It was like, talk me into it. Like, talk me into it. Did I? It probably went longer than this interview. I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have thought I'd have the cojones to, to talk like that. No, you did. You yeah, were, right. You were like, I don't... It's vague. That's it's fascinating. Vague, but I think you... It's like I've blocked it out. Sell, like, tried um... to sell yourself, but I was... <laughs> like, no, nah, I don't know. Just gave you a go. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. well, I think an opening... Happened, I don't know. Who, well, you also, yeah, you probably needed someone, maybe. Yeah, um, yeah. And oh, how I fitted the bill, I've got no idea. But um, he, 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 he employed me. Um, full, it was actually one of the last times I worked, probably the only time I've had a full-time job was then, at Yodgies in Mooney Ponds, Parkle Street Mooney Ponds, which was an amazing time, wasn't it? Was it a good time? Yeah, I think, at least. We were doing um, lots of good so, stuff there. Yeah, yeah. Fun place, right. fun times, yeah. And um, you sponsored a bunch of those skaters I just mentioned. Yeah. And, yeah. and others. Mm -hmm. And you must have fit the bill because you've been doing it for what, 15, well, the, yeah, 17 years now? No, went, well, 18. Went, um, went south, didn't they? they oh, went, yeah, yeah, they just got over themselves. And yeah, and, and I had no job for a little while, and so the sort of hours dried up, which was fair enough. And then I heard there was a job going at PSC. Mm. You might remember that yeah, name. Yeah. So that's going back a while now. I, all, remember, all I remember you calling me up about yeah, I was like, oh, that. I've been offered a job there, and I don't, I don't do know it. what to do. What should I do? 
I don't know what to do, yeah. Pete. Well, do you know that was, like, I, I, that was a two-hour phone call. I think I just, yeah, I'd been brainwashed that, like, they were bad or something. Oh, that yeah, would, yeah. Probably, well, was, also, probably was me. That would, yeah, yeah, totally. totally. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll own it. They were also a big skate company, a, yeah. a big shop at the time, and so, and I thought, oh, I sort of like what we're doing here, this shop, and, but I was like, I need but work. I think what Yogi's was already done and dusted. It was mm. probably a year after that. And mm. you know, what was your other option? To, if you wanted to work in skateboarding, you had no other option. Yeah, but blindside, that's exactly right. Blindside was way east at that time. That's right, yeah. And you weren't? Yeah, and there was a shop in High Point, which is, I was living on that side of town. Yep. yep. And Marty Umansky, our friend, everybody's friend. Um, nice. I hope he's listening. He's um, actually helped me out with some of these questions today. Has he? Oh, is that, that's the farmyard. Yeah, he's a real, yeah. no, that, he's a real that farmyard. No, that was Grant's own that was, mentality. Yeah, that was just pure Zamina. But yeah. the uh, Ollie back in, for the last Ollie you ever did was... <laughs> was that was funny. <laughs> that sounds like something you'd say, actually. <laughs> I remember when you were working at PSC and I came in and I wanted, because I love my Thunder trucks. Sorry, mm -hmm. Pete. Do you still ride? Okay. Absolutely. Do you? And I came in and I said, uh, got some trucks from you and you said, oh, do me a price and you, you gave me like a 10% and I said, Make it 30%. So that's bullshit. Yeah, yeah. I said, make it 30%. And you're like, oh. And I go, just tell Mappy. Did I know you at the time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, just tell Mappy it's all good. And you did it. And I'm like, oh, sweet. I got no, that. I wouldn't have told Mappy anything. <laughs> no, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so I was waiting for... for you might have found out Yeah, now. I was waiting for, waiting for, for a, a phone fax call. From you know? Mappy. Yeah. Um, I'm glad I hooked you up. Yeah. They were my first trucks, Thunder. They, so. They're just they're the best. Yeah, I've been for ages. Mm. Yeah. You're in Indies now. Oh, no, no, you're no, nice. That's it. You can talk about Indy if you want. It's an unpopular point of view but I'll yeah I think they're far better than Indy. Well your board's like <laughs> probably a lot of people what probably if whoever's watching this probably does ride indies. But, um, <laughs> I do recommend ace trucks but that probably doesn't help you out either Pete. Oh look it's okay you can recommend whatever you want. <laughs> Sorry they drink this beer. <laughs> um, so out of all this period you're skating you're doing some jobs in the industry uh, just the skate shops with the jobs in the industry you had you didn't work no you know, warehouse I was retail guy yeah yep, daylight hours and how then yep. did it, where did comedy come into the mix? Because that's something that's been a fairly big part of that you know, yeah, sort yeah, of growing yeah. phase for you. What, how did that come about? Um, I, I, was, I studied at VUT, Footscray. I uh, studied a thing called performance studies, which was like an arts course, but it was about um, how to not be an actor, but it was all anything performance based. And I learned a lot, it was three years long. And in that I did my first ever stand up gig as people, a part of it? Like, yeah, sort yeah. of, for the first semester I had to give a performance and the, the lecturer knew I liked stand-up comedy and she, I had no idea how to perform this particular thing because you could do anything. And she said, why don't you do it as like stand-up comedy? And I thought, yeah, it's crazy enough to work. And I just told these stories and people laughed, the class laughed. And I remember thinking that, I was like, I could do that. I reckon I could do that to paying customers. I remember thinking that. It's like, <laughs> like, if they laugh, then people might pay money to laugh like that. And I guess that was the start of it. At the time, I was trying to be an actor. Right. So I was an actor who loved stand-up, that had a weird brain, that could tell these stories with confidence, because I was happy to stand in front of an audience. So I was like, I can do this. And then that led to what was... My, my stand-up career, I don't think, is over, but it's on hiatus a little bit of them. It's in a weird place at the moment. You're focusing on pallets. Pallets, yeah, that was off off screen. Um, <laughs> some work I'm doing. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's so that's how it came to be. I sort of just got into stand-up through then. So this is probably in 2002, yeah. I remember you, you tried a couple of times or made it... When you were with me, you just tried VCA or something, didn't you? Was, yeah, the acting, You were hell-bent on acting and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. But yeah, and yeah. NIDA. Um, and NIDA as well, NIDA that's right. Yeah. Sydney and did Whopper you, in Perth. I, yeah, I tried those auditions. And you out, did well? you No, I never got in, but because I, right. I sort of would get close, get to these last parts of the, um, what do you call it, the, not the audition, the process to get in, yeah. and then they'd say no. And Selection do you do audition it? sort of stuff in those processes? Yeah, yeah full yeah, like yeah. rehearsed so like, monologues. Like, oh, yeah. You have to do a Shakespeare monologue and also <laughs> like a contemporary, like a modern play. Yeah, 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 and it's wanky as hell, and I'm really glad I never got in. Expressive dance. Yeah. 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 What's that? Expressive dance, perhaps? Or? You, no, not at these ones. This is purely acting, Pete. No further questions. You didn't get any... Uh, you couldn't do any Western-type acting roles? Western? Yeah. You like would, Cowboy? cowboy? Sort of? yeah. oh, I just I want that role. Yeah, it doesn't exist yeah. yet. It's a pity it hasn't come back. Yeah. That, that, you know, lots of fashions have, but Cowboy just hasn't quite made it back. Uh, People wear jeans a lot. <laughs> yeah, 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 Cowboy's popularised denim. That's underrated, so isn't don't it? I forget that Don't forget that. Yeah. If you're wearing jeans, you love Cowboys subconsciously. Yeah, yeah. it's a fair call. Ironically, I don't wear any denim except for denim jackets these days. Mm. Yeah. Do you want to talk fashion? No. 
<laughs> sure. Um. So in in that comedy and the jacket, there's a connection there. And Marty Umansky. So yeah. one of the comedy shows, Marty actually played guitar for you. Yes, my first one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember seeing that one. That and, was shit. Uh, so that was raw back then. Like yeah. I was still learning. It was. I think it was good. Yeah, I think it was good. You no, no. had another one where you actually did it in the skate shop. So the show itself took place at Fast Times. Fast Times. City, at the yeah, time. yeah. Changed from PSC to Fast Times by then. Um, and you had Zoe Coombs Ma on there. Is yeah, that right? yeah, that's right. Yeah. So you had a, uh, a show. It was 2015. In the shop. Which would have been a fairly big ask to be able to get that to happen because there's product in there and stuff. And You're right, yeah. Yeah, so they gave a bit of trust to you to do that. Totally, yeah. Did that, any and that was, gear get nicked? Uh, not that we know of. Right, okay, um, good. Yeah. No, that was a bit pretty crazy deal. A set of thunder trucks. <laughs> yeah. I did come to the show. by one guy. <laughs> yeah. um, what the you left behind? <laughs> yeah, that was amazing of... Um, like uh, the Fast Times gang to yeah. let to make that happen and let that happen because it it's crazy really because we had to do it after hours obviously and that's good because a show would happen at night anyway mm -hmm. yeah. yeah but it was sort of funded by um, they wanted to have a a, a sp separate door like uh, the roller door I thought this is great because if there's an emergency you just roll the door up people can just big opening safe right the, some security guy said some safety guy said that can't happen. Like you'll have to, so we had to erect every night this fake door, like a wooden door that you'd sort of set up and then it had a normal door. I'm like, how is this safer? It's crazy. So but it's smaller opening yeah. than the... But that would have to be packed away so you could just trade the next day and stuff. It was crazy. And um, I think if it's right, if you came the same night as all the other skaters came, you come, that was night two uh, and it was one of the worst performances I've ever done. And I'm... I didn't that expect... That was the night, there was one night when all... The skate world seemed to show up. Like the oh, boss no. of Fast Times was there. No, no, I don't think I was there oh, that good, night. Good. Yeah, yeah. But, but it, it was, still wasn't one of your best. It was one of those examples. No, oh, great. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it wasn't. And, um, no, I enjoyed that show. It was good. Thanks, man. But there was one night when all the skaters seemed to show up. It was the night, night two. And I did a really bad job. And it was really hard for me because all of a sudden these two things that I love were sort of collided. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. performing comedy in the skateboard shop and storytelling sort of stuff. About working and in the skate shop. About working in my whole life there. And so it was a very personal show, but also all these skaters were there, as they should be, I guess. Like, why wouldn't they show up if they want to see this? Yeah. But I wasn't prepared for it. The show wasn't ready yet. It was night two, and I just sucked eggs, and it was really <laughs> hard. It was How really is that hard. with the audience? Do you see the audience and then get... You know, get vibe from that yeah, sort of yeah. thing. Not as in they were negative on you, but there, there's your people you know and stuff. So does that change the way you go about your show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I also, that was the night I learnt that, like, skaters, even though that's a huge part of my... They are a huge part of my life, and I mostly hang out with skaters and people associated with skateboarding. Um, more than comedians, like, by far. Like, uh, the good thing is... Uh, this. Uh, will, will I be tagged in this? On Facebook? I'm pretty sure yeah. you'd be tagged. Pretty yeah. sure. And I won't say what I was about to say. Um, <laughs> because it's um, too negative. Let's talk about goats. <laughs> More goat talk. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I guess I learned, that's when I learned that um, skateboarders, as much as they're, like, really open-minded, at least I th sort of think they are or should be, yep. when I saw them, they can be pretty and tough audience members because... Good, yeah, good hecklers. Yeah. It, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good hecklers and also... Not just, I don't know. Like it was just too much. It was too um, too much going on that night. Where it's like I'm kind of trying to. It's like trying to make your family laugh or yeah, something. It's yeah. like it does not. You're not meant to be yeah, doing that. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think one it's thing like, we've... and it, I, I thought, oh, skateboarders are shit audience members. Is what I remember thinking. Even though I am a skateboarder and I'm an audience <laughs> member a lot of the time, I was like, when they're in groups, it's like groups. I, suck. I think a lot of the time, skateboarders are always taking the piss, always, yeah, you know, yeah. they're always on edge anyway, and so it's not and like... And here's me, like, putting myself out there. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's and like, making jokes about working in a skate yeah, shop. And so yeah, and so it was just, like, hard to work at what level to pitch it, you know what I mean? I guess from, like, sort of normal audiences come from a, you know, a fairly normal mentality and a normal life yeah, and everything, audience. and they come to comedy gig and it's like, ah, oh, it's all funny, but skaters are kind of always... Yeah, they're, they're more discerning or you know. sort of, well, who knows? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then on a similar note, on the I think it might have been your next show that you did was the one with the um, the jacket, which was a fur jacket that had some writing on the oh, back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Did that yeah. end up getting nicked? That jacket? No, that was a you denim jacket you're talking about. Yeah, that, that I also that I, I thought yeah. I lost. So that was a denim jacket that unrelated. Connected to the initial question where I said there was a connection. Yeah. 
and I'm, I went to that show and you, there was actually some other people in the audience and myself and during the show you did It's good there were other people in the audience. Well, not just other you. people you knew. I oh, say. I knew. Yeah, right, as yeah. well as people you didn't know. Yeah, yeah. But at that show, you actually did um, mention, you know, you pointed out something, oh, yeah, and there's Dean and whatever and some other people in the audience. And and I thought, oh, wow, he's come to grips with whoever's in the audience and you're able to still deliver your show. It was a, a real growth that I'd seen. In, oh, in yeah, that. yeah, so, yeah. Well, yeah. I guess by that stage, that was only two or three years ago, three that show. Years, yeah. yeah. And, oh, maybe even... Yeah, I think it was 2017. That was probably the last yep. full-length show I did. It was, actually. yeah, which yeah, is so the one that you went and did the... Um, little ABC. The ABC. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that, I was, I thought that was called Cowboy Mouth. Yep. That show. And um, uh, I guess by that stage, I, I sort of would welcome something else happening in the room. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, so you there became much more comfortable with movie. what else was going on. Yeah, yeah, because you've said the material a million times or something, and not that I'm saying I'm... Because I can still f fuck that right up. It, all the time but uh there's something about like there's been nights when i've done comedy gigs where i'm on later there's a, it's a lineup and i'm on somewhere in the lineup and i've heard i've noticed in the room there's someone heckling someone's being a bit of a prick in the front row to all the the mc or the other acts yeah, yeah. and they're struggling with it and i guess i've done it for, for long enough now that there's times when i've thought oh i can't wait to be out there and just destroy that Get person that <laughs> yeah. or just go at them and put them on the spot you know because i've been doing that all night so yeah you sort of anything to divert from a normal comedy yeah. thing is yeah, yeah. so noticing you, it's like great. Who cares? Even if this goes wrong, at least it'll be interesting now. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? yeah, yeah. What are some of the uh, highlight heckles that you've had that you've had to deal with? <laughs> I get asked that a bit in like comedy interviews, and I can never think of anything. But mm. I remember once, probably in a slightly earlier days, someone, someone just yelled out, "Oh, what did they yell out?" Or something like. Something like, have confidence or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was trying to help, you know what I mean? It wasn't like you're a dickhead. It was just like, I was like, yeah, thank you. I should, I should have more faith in myself. Yeah. That's pretty That's fantastic. fantastic. Something like that. That's fantastic. It wasn't that exact word, but it was along those lines. Yeah. yeah. So the one with comedy, like, I was trying to think of something comedy that relates to skating. What's the funniest skateboarding trick you've seen or... Like, what do you think? Like, you've been skating with someone or whatever and you just look at someone do some crazy trick and you're like, that was actually pretty funny. Shit. Um, yeah, yeah. Could include a funny slam, a stupid trick. I'm trying to think. That's a tough one. What, what comes to well, mind? What's an example for my you? One, my one for me was Dean. One day we were just skating somewhere and he decided he would try to do a rolling handstand oh, on yeah. his skateboard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The funny thing was, I don't think Dean can even do handstands. At all? And on, in, no, off not skateboard. really Probably, at all yeah. off skateboards, yeah. anything. So he's tried to do it. And I think he actually hit a pebble or something as yeah. well. Hit a pebble. And he went down and from memory he like scorped on his head. Full And scorp. like folded over and like yeah. full scorped, <laughs> crushed his head. And on, the, on the rough asphalt, all this is scraped up and I've scorpioned. Yeah, and it was, like hurt your neck a bit. Yeah, right? and he yeah. was like in full scorpion stalled. And like it was hilarious. Then from one brother to another, that's about as good as it gets. It was it? absolute gold for me. Yeah, and he, yeah. Like they got that really fucking hurt. His head's all bleeding and everything. I, I and, like, and I was just you, like, that is, that's gold, man. I, I don't care. That. So that to me was probably the funniest one. I, I actually I did one myself one day, and I, I was skating and I I cracked my board, and I really don't know what I was thinking, but there was a jump ramp, like a big jump ramp there. And I thought, I'm just going to snap it the whole way. And I've ollied onto it and landed like that. And the board's just folded. And I've just gone one leg yeah. on either side of the I jump like, ramp oh. and just nutted myself on a broken board on the top of the jump ramp <laughs> that... deliberately. Just going, <laughs> I've done it. And I've just like crushed there. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Just something took so, over. Yeah, yeah like, I was just like, I'm just going to snap it. And you do love it. trannies and you deliberately nut yourself. I love trannies yourself. and nut myself. Yeah. You are That's a weird man. Pretty much. Yeah. That's a good skate career. I think it's fairly yeah. good. Um, no, I, can't, that. I can't think. Uh, I mean, I'm, I feel like it's something like Rob would have done, or maybe <laughs> me. But it should involve an injury, shouldn't it? Well, that would I don't have remember a funny story you told me about Fitzroy Bowl. Oh, uh, yeah, the you, photographer. You and Rob skating. That was that was a pretty funny story. Yeah. I think it was an awareness moment. You can you. tell it. Yeah, it probably was. It's, it's a big world. It's a big, <laughs> bad world. Yeah, you can tell <laughs> it. I, I just remember you coming in and going, what, Pete, what do you think of this story? What do you think of this? Like, this, this just guy, happened. Do you think this guy had honest intentions and stuff and I'm like well, what, what happened Dave and he was him and Rob were skating the Fitzy Bowl it was a hot day and this random guy came along and 
said, hey, uh, is it okay if I take some photos of you guys and stuff? And he's like, oh, yeah, sure, yeah. sure. And I think we were doing uh, maybe a blunt. Or it was a hot day, I remember that. I think you did, uh, you did a, tri a trick on the spine. Yep. And then, or, or over the spine maybe. Well, yeah, I, I think I was, no, on the other end, like the deep end, oh, the not deep. the spine, the okay. other side. And say so I'd done a trick and he was, Rob was standing behind me, just wearing shorts and shoes. Like it was a hot day, he had his shirt on. And um, the guy was pretty keen on taking the photos of us. And, um, <laughs> and um, so I did a trick, I can't remember what it was. And I remember once I passed out of the frame, basically, I remember looking across and he just still had the camera on Rob with his shirt off and just kept taking photos. <laughs> <laughs> and and I remember I was, I was sitting like maybe it was a moment of when I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> That's not right. It was not, it's not wrong either, but, it's, uh, no. but it was just like, yeah, right. Interesting. Yep. Similar thing happened at, at Kensington Spine Ramp years later. These guys would just want to show up and videotape us. I'm like, fuck yeah, I'll do a nose wheelie, man. Watch this. And it was three <laughs> older gentlemen. And just standing there and like with a video camera, I was like, what are they doing with this footage, these gentlemen? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Old Did you have your top off? No. But you weren't wearing pants. Well that's probably the No pants, no. That's probably the best thing that's ever happened at Kenny. Apart from Dean's Ollie training, that yeah. he just goes to Kenny and just Ollie, Ollie training. Ollie, he just sits there and apparently Ollie. Apparently I go there and do Ollie's. On the flat. At least on an the hour. Flat, yeah. Apparently. He on, the, on the grass the next he just on the grass next to Yells in yeah, himself. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I learned. Pills, abuse and, and slogans, motivational slogans in himself and everything. It's it's a sight mm, to behold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently that happens, but I think it's a great scope part. Yeah. Uh, so on that, we talked, he talked about the injuries that he, that I su suffered. Uh, have you had any injuries from skating over the years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, knocked myself out pretty good one time, um, which I talked about in that comedy show. Actually. You did, actually. I had four You talked on... about it three times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Funny joke about um, short-term memory <laughs> loss and head injuries. But um, We've got a helmet back here for you. I saw that. Yeah. If that's for... That looks actually original. Is that... Did you see that? Oh, my helmet. Yeah. Oh, there. Is that yeah, yours, Grant? Yeah. yeah, I won oh. it in a skate comp. I think I won a comp. Have you ever won a comp? Bloody buy that off in, I like in that. like a hundred years ago. Helmet no, I need off. that thing because that's my. Whenever I go to a place that needs a helmet, I, I now have that. I you don't tried know, to I, wear that at go karting once. Yeah, <laughs> I tried to give it a go. I've worn it like twice. I love really, it. In reality, I, th I think it's pretty ace. How oh, did you, what, there it is. <laughs> what trick did you do? It knocked you out. Or don't you remember that? Oh, it, is the, it started raining uh, on a. Marine ply ramp up mm. in Harrietville. It was a great yeah. little spine yeah. ramp. Way up there. It's no longer there, that it's a ramp. a private ramp? No. Strange. It was public, but it was sort of made by some some guys. I don't, I don't remember who, some snowboard types, I think. Bill. Yeah, okay. And um, it started raining, and I remember I just wanted to do... It was light rain, so I thought, oh, good, there's a little bit of slickness on the ramp. I'll just sort of cess slide. Here's a question for you. Where did the word cess... What do Australians call a cess slide? Does anyone know? Because I don't. No, I don't know. We it it, it sounds like yeah. it would be an abbreviated word or something, but someone's... But only in Australia right. do we use that. No, really? What do they you call it in America? America? Oh, Mad power skids? slides and stuff? Power, power slides, slides, yeah. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Maybe, no, it's maybe, cess maybe it was man. invented in Cessna. Hey. Yeah, there's that's that dude, good. There's that dude that came out of there known for his uh, cess slides. There that, you go. I, yeah. That might be it, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's up in New South Wales, isn't it? Yeah. They're, they're I've doing done everything comedy there. there. It's hands down one of the. If anyone from Cessnock's in, is watching. I'm sorry, but it's an average town. <laughs> it's weird. It's a weird town. That'd be awesome if we did have someone from Cessnock viewing. Just like a death threat. Yeah, and they sent something in, and it, oh man, that'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. It's Cess. worldwide. Um, Cess slide. So I was trying to do a Cess slide, all four wheels, and um, it just was like ice. It just was. There was, you know, you sort of expect a bit of grip or friction, just yeah. so you can slide all four wheels down a bit. Like, there was no resistance. It was just, because I wasn't ready for it, it was just, I remember I I did the kick turn, sort of turned 90 degrees, and then I remember, I said in the show, I turned 90 degrees and then woke up. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, which is a hard <laughs> trick, actually. <Yeah. laughs> it's not easy to pull that off. But, um, I yeah, I I'd literally just must have fell so fast, I just hit my head on the coping. Yeah. And, but remember there was the guy... Jordan Will, he was the brother of this other skater. Um, he he was next to the ramp, but he had his back turned when I did this and was walking away. And he didn't notice that I'd fallen or anything. And by the time I sort of woke up, he was like 50 metres away, like 100 metres away. I was like, yeah. fuck, I must have been out for a, a bit, which I'd yeah. never had happen before. Mm -hmm. And then I went and tried to call my mother to come pick me up and I just 
kept calling her because I didn't remember yeah, you. Yeah, I couldn't yeah, remember yeah. calling her. Yeah. And I was like, Mum, you've got to pick me up. She goes, yes, I know, I'm on my way. I'm like, okay, great. And then I'd hang up. I was like, Mum, you know, it was really freaky. Yeah, you yeah. wasted your 1-800 return numbers. I did, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wasted all the coins. <laughs> all the credit was gone. I remember that getting knocked out once at Paran Bowl. I don't remember getting knocked out, but I remember waking up or at least coming to and realising things when I was at the Art Centre and St Kilda Road skating. Shit. All of a sudden, I'm skating at St Kilda Road. Going, How'd I get here? I don't remember a thing since Paran. And I don't even remember the trick of Paran. Wear helmets. Yeah. yeah. And the other Kids. one was <laughs> the calling, calling up all the time. I got knocked out skateboarding down the hill at Brimbank Park and we we're walking Is this up the other side. Oh, oh, that's no, right. it's at school. We we're walking up the other side to go to my friend's house. And when I got uh, there was a fork in the road, grass ahead, and I started the speed wobbles. I'm like, I can make to the grass. But I didn't and I hit the tarmac and I was <laughs> knocked out. And we we're it's walking. Rough, isn't it? Yeah, we we're there's walking no back. In, there's no one in Brimbank Park. All I kept, no. all I kept saying <laughs> to my so mate nice. is Is it Tuesday? And he goes, Yeah, yeah, I go. Did I get kicked out of class? And David, we both got kicked out of class today. He goes, yeah. I go, did, did David piss on Mr. Gatton's desk? He goes, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. And then three minutes later, is it Tuesday? Yeah. Did I get kicked out of class? Did, he did piss David on... piss on the desk? And it just kept going and going and going. So if David was trying to keep a secret about pissing on the desk, he was gone. <laughs> I was out there. Great. Dude, Luckily, the internet didn't The record exist. seems to get stuck when you get knocked out, huh? Yeah. It does. Awesome. It does. Oh, that's yeah. a crazy... He pissed on the... Yeah, yeah, because it was like, desk. so when you got kicked out, That's you had life. to go didn't to... didn't go down in the country. No, didn't no this, like, this guy was a, the, an evil genius. He, he was. <laughs> we spoke about him, but we got kicked out of class and you would have to go to the, the um, not the principal, coordinator. the coordinator of our year level. So you go to their office. Coordinator but of he was also <laughs> a PE teacher, so he's off a PE class, right? So David's in the office and he's like, I need to go to the toilet. They didn't tell me I'm allowed to go to the toilet. I had to go here. So I have to go to the toilet here. So he just pisses on the desk all over the chair, you know, like the soft chairs. He just yeah. pissed all over it and it's just soaked into the chair. And then the bell goes and we just pissed off to lunch or whatever. And um, and that was it, you know. So it was it was one of those sort of things. That's, got, that's wild. Yeah. That's wild stallions. Yeah. Look, I, I, I remember, this is unrelated, it's related yeah. to that, but there was a swimming carnival. I was talking to an American person once that found it really funny. We call it swimming carnivals. Anyway, it's an aside. <laughs> But it is pretty Why is it kind of, Yeah, I suppose it is. Yeah. But um, this Mr. Lespina in Myrtleford at uh, Marion College, he was in his speedos just giving a big direction to, to the people at the, the pool, all the kids. You know, you know, the next race is about to happen. He was just standing up there. Sort of, he was quite lean, quite a fit sort of dude. And so one of the kids just... <laughs> <laughs> Fully just everything. Just, oh. That is gold. That's a big one. That's yeah. a big call. Whoever that kid was, like... Uh, that yeah, is classic. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, yeah. So just still on the injuries, you had your, uh, you had your brain damage at that point. Yeah. But, oh, I broke uh, my arm really badly once. Oh, no, that wasn't even skating. Uh, no, I've had sort of mostly arms and stuff. Uh-huh, yeah. yep. Skating. what about other... Low times in skating, like in terms of, um, you know, where you've not, where maybe uh, uh, friends or whatever have gotten lost in the world of drugs or anything mm-hmm. like that, or uh, uh, any of that sort of stuff. Has any of that sort of stuff affected you over the years as well? Is it? No, not really. Like I, I got into that um, that sort of partying scene a little bit all by myself years later. Like yep. uh, I didn't need anyone's help there really but I was always yeah I was always like I was sober on my 21st birthday which Pete would remember mm-hmm. like I, I was sober talking about being an odd kid I just didn't drink when I was in high school or anything like that yeah and we, we always used to talk about we'll have your first beer together that's right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Pete quite liked it that I was when I started oh no you thought I was a virgin <laughs> was, what do you mean thought? Were you not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was good. I said, sorry, Pete, but I lost my virginity like six months ago. Um, <laughs> and um, that was back With at the Yodges. at summer camp. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, what was I carrying on about? Drugs, Drinking. friends. Drug, yeah, Drinking. and so I, I guess with skating, I was always for the guy who would be up in the morning. I'd want to go skating, you know, anyway, even if it was they'd... Even in high school when they were smoking their bongs, or I was like, come on, let's go skating. Let's go, let's go. But I, I, I was, probably was a bit full on because it would be a 40 degree day in Bright or something, and I'd 
so let's go, let's keep skating. They're like, let's go down to the pool and duck each other or something. <laughs> you always, and the teacher. What, was, <laughs> what was always funny about that time is you were, were always that guy, and but you idolised um, from memory Scott Bourne and uh, mm-hmm. Dwayne Peters. Yeah, yeah. Before Dwayne Peters shifted to Red Bull, you know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. Alcohol, like, full alcohol fuel, yeah, still yeah. on Beer City. Mm. Yeah, and, that's um, right, Pete. Yeah. yeah, and I'm like. Far out. Yeah, it's got <laughs> weird. has got these big black tattoos. It's got weird yeah. heroes. Yeah, yeah, kid. totally. No, but they're the great, they're great skateboarders. Or at least Dwayne, certainly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can't dispute that. And what about favourite skate spots? So, um, is there something that, if you could go back and skate right now, even if it doesn't exist anymore, what would be your favourite skate spot? Sorry, uh, I think that might be half of your question that you've got. Well, from you've just ruined it. Pop, yeah. pop it in a different way. If you want. Or what goats would you like to take to skate to spots? The, what? <laughs> <laughs> what, no, mondo, what Mondo skate spots would you yeah, like to mondo reclaim? Skate. I like to oh, take yeah, with like my Mondo eye. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, Kensington, which is a park that isn't sort of super popular with only certain skaters really. I really liked that because I was working at EOG, I, I think. Oh, man. Like, and they yeah, built it in the last right. <laughs> That was really uh, hot. Can I just say... He actually... Kenny, yes. That was the prediction he, that I put down there. Dean predicted really? that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Either well, he predicted it or he's got into your mind and actually done that to you. I haven't yeah, you did mention it on the phone the other day, but that's not something I've told you, really, but you must just know. That's, and it's, there's far better skate parks than that in Melbourne now, but that's beside the point. Like Every one of them is yeah. far better. You met Junior down there. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. some great skate demos have gone down there that I've missed most of, but I've, there's <laughs> video footage of it, and I'm like, see, this, the pros know that that's a crazy spine ramp. Yeah. Oh, and you mentioned yeah. Anton earlier on. He did that ollie over the two little yeah. bank things. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's the other thing. Great sessions have gone yeah. down there. Yep. I saw Mike Vallely do an amazing demo in the rain there, which was insane, really? actually. It, hand, it was insane. And um, didn't touch the spine, just but skated the worst quarter pipe, the one stuff. in the... The tight one with the banks on yeah, the other side. Yeah, that and he yeah. did a big front side air on that quarter pipe in the rain. In the rain. It was wet, wow. it was wet on the ground. No cess slides. It feels like I'm making that up. I didn't cess. Yeah. Didn't go to Cessnock so at all. That was the only bit of that park I used to like, <laughs> launching off that onto the bank. and it didn't take a one-way Cessnock trip. Cessnock slides. We'll just call it Cessnock slides from today. Yeah. And um, what about uh, travel? So beyond Kensington, where else have you travelled to for skating? Bansdale. I once had to, whoa, I once, <laughs> Bansdale. <laughs> once had a very edifying trip to Bansdale with some of the Yodgies guys, and we won't talk about that. Um, I was very innocent at the time, sober, and yeah. didn't even get corrupted, though I think some characters tried their best. Uh, I had to go and do, no, I swear to God, this is, this is total bullshit, because... I'm just a skateboarder that can that can skate competently is about all I can do, you know. Uh, but my friend Dinny Spicer said we need a guy, we need a couple of skaters, we need two BMX riders, we need rollerbladers. This is only this is 2008. We need two rollerbladers and maybe a trials rider, you know, trials mountain bike, mm-hmm. um, to go to China, like about three hours outside of Shanghai, to do these ridiculous demos, three demos a day, on a spine ramp that was about the same shape and size as Kensington spine ramp, but way terribly made. And um, we had to assemble it. So my friend got me to go. I said, you know, I'm not that good. Like I can skate, but I can't, I shouldn't be doing a demo on, like I can't even do proper airs, you know? <laughs> and um, and, he, and I saw, he said, well, can you get someone else as well? And so I got Reese. So Reese, Tom like Reese and I, at least I had someone that could really skate there. And, um, it was just so ridiculous. I got there and there was a shipping container and my mate hadn't told me that I was to assemble this ramp <laughs> <laughs> with these, um, in the Chinese humidity and uh, with these about about 15 Chinese workers that all wear suits. They wore suits, which was odd. <laughs> but, build um, a ramp. Yeah, yeah, they're all wearing suits. <laughs> they like, look from Convict. And they, yeah, it was really strange. And um, then we assembled it and then the demo started and it was horrifically done the whole thing yeah. and I would slam because I was trying to do tricks that was sort of out of my reach and I was hurting myself and it was the BMX riders were amazing because I was like back flipping the spine so it's stuff that yeah. would wow a crowd you know whereas skateboarding even at its best can't always do that Compared especially to on a, a mini ramp right? yeah, BMX, some, yeah. yeah some ramps and like so that. it was a, just a joke but I got to skate in China and they 
I, they use you got my, paid for that? Yeah, a little bit. And they, they put my image on the main posters at this. Um, <laughs> it was at a Chinese theme park. Like, it was crazy. They had all these Swiss-made roller posters. You sent, you sent me a photo of that. That, was like, yeah. that wasn't just a poster. That was like, oh, it was like a big 20 banner. times life. There was a massive wow. banner. <laughs> right? I've still got some of the posters I took home. I, I want to write a show about it or put it into a show somehow, this Chinese trip. Because it was so ridiculous. Because cause my face was on it, they thought I was someone, right? And... Then they couldn't work, the organisers couldn't work out why I was average. <laughs> yeah. They couldn't work out why I was slamming in every demo. Like we were trying to do these synchronised routines because you had to yeah. do three a day. It was like, it was very like, get in, get out. Yeah. He does a grind while you, someone does an aero if you on a bike or something. It was like, and I'm slamming. It's not, yeah, you know, yeah. like, if you go and see Krusty Demons of Dirt, they're landing the tricks because they know I'm back to front. I was like, pushing myself, hurting myself. One time I slammed so many times, I got this massive, biggest swab I've ever had because I kept falling on it. And I just had to sit under the ramp during the demo, and the Chinese organisers like, like they talked to Chinese workers, like, keep going. What the fuck's wrong with you? Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. It was like this is no fun. <laughs> so that was probably the farthest. Isn't that amazing trip. that you get to an opportunity go to China to skate and yeah. it wasn't fun? Like, yeah, well that's it. That's yeah, like that's weird. I don't think it's meant to be sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you went overseas to uh, to America as well with Tony. Is that correct? Tony Helm. Tony Helm, which, who's the other? If there was a third influence in my life, it would have to be. Tony Helm, just well, to talk about Tony. I don't know if you're watching right now, Tony, but thank well, you for everything. Do you so, reckon Tony had a big influence with what you looked at in skateboarding? Yeah, well, I was. I liked all that. I got into that old, that flowy style of skating. I reckon, probably after seeing Anton and just realizing there was more to it than more to skateboarding and yeah. the way you rode. But then I got into you know Tony Trujillo and those sort of guys and really f there was that was it really when i saw mm -hmm. that GMT kind of stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. At the top of his game was just absolutely yeah at the time and that meant a lot sort of because he was harking back to something older but also something modern as well and yep. had rock and roll sort of flair and shit which i loved and you know a bunch of other guys as well but yeah for me that was it and then i met tony and tony was such a sort of a generous Guy. I lived not right next door to him, so we just sort of we just met, and he was older. He was Tony Hallam, you know, for a pro, um, and he just sort of started showing me the stuff, all these artifacts, all these things he had in his house, and I'd learn about. That was probably the turning point with Dwayne, Dwayne Peters, and understanding and Steve Olson, and you know that real. And again, I still give it up for all that. So when people talk about these, you know, the ten-year-old kids doing all the crazy stuff, I know it's amazing. Oh yeah. But like, they'll never be that sort of style again. You know, yeah. Not really. Yeah, yeah. So I, I prefer. I'd rather watch someone that's in his mid to late fifties skate. Yeah. Personally, I really would because it's it's There's awesome. There's a few guys around that pull the tricks and don't try and do tricks that are fashionable. You know, and like Daniel Vargas and yeah, yeah. Velcom, You know, I've seen him skate, and he's just. Amazing. Just That's kind it. of reminded me of Christian Asoy. You know, yeah, like, yeah, totally. He really exploited his style, you know? Yeah, and yeah, totally. Down to what he cool. wears a little bit. It's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, he's great. And Paul, Paul Batley's done that as well. Yeah. Like, yeah. he's really held things back and he's made, worked on his style, you know? So yeah. people that do it, man, hats off to him because, mm. you know, when you're That's young, it. you're and trying to learn a, whatever's fashionable. Skating's kind of good, at, I guess, at the moment because anything goes. Yeah. yeah. You know, like that, that skateboard that, that XN just made me, the shape of it is. Would have, you, I don't know, it would have been oh, five suicide. Years ago, you probably yeah, well, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe five years ago, it would have been weird, but earlier than that, it would have been absolutely insane to bring out a board. Now people go, oh, it's interesting, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you and look in the skate shop back there and look at how many different board that's right, shapes yeah. there are. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas yeah. prior to that, they were all pedal we, we got a lot of people coming that's back right. to skateboarding, you know, and, um, and they all go, oh, you know, I want to get back into it. I've still got my old trucks and wheels. And I'll go, yeah, but you probably rode a seven, uh, like a 7.65. Yes, oh, and I did. Cheers. There we go. This is designed, oh, just to bring it back. This is designed by Rob Wilshire the, with the Mondo Eye, the skateboard. We'll talk about that in a bit of detail in a moment, but that's how it looks. Um, so appreciation tell, model. Tell us about your trip to America. America, yeah. <clears throat> um, You've so been pretty young. I was 2001. I had to get time off Yogi's to do that. <laughs> how would you manage that? Is your boss all right with that? <laughs> this boss was not even all right with it, but he, he sort of knew. Maybe he sort of could predict the future a little bit, Pete, and just thought, this won't last forever or something. You were. You, you were you <laughs> this guy's on his way out anyway. You were ready for a, a Yogi's Christmas. Yeah, exactly. The barrage of what would happen and... and but I, bet, I feel so, like... Oh, did he go at Christmas time? Yeah. Oh, I, I, oh, yeah, oh, it was Christmas. Yeah. Or was it... No, I feel like it was January. 
No, no, it, it had Christmas. to be. It, it had Christmas. to be January P. I got my ass kicked by uh, yeah. Dennis Yodji was on my case all the time because he used to do the rostering, and I'm, I'm like, oh, I'd be like, all right, just you know, he was never going to calm down, so I kept trying to convince him that it was going to be okay. Yeah. You know. He, he won't be missed that much. You know, yeah. we, can, we can cover him. Yeah. He's a good agent. <laughs> but we, we can, can good do agent, but we, we can, can live without him. <laughs> because, you know, like you were still learning a little bit and stuff. Yeah, yeah, totally. I was naive to all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I... and your concentration's got a lot better. I think so, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, that was sarcastic. I, I thought maybe it had. Um, yeah, no, no. You used to get distracted, Matt. It was hilarious. It was, my, I, it was so entertaining for us, particularly for me. It's embarrassing. I loved it. I um, loved every minute of it. I'll do it again. This interview's over. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyway, you, you, Tony, took you away, gave me a break for a couple of weeks. Well, yeah, it was... Well, that, that was crazy, actually, because you, you Pete, amazingly, somehow just said, OK, go. Which was I was I had a full time job and Tony said, this is the timeline of how I went to America for the first time, left the country for the first time, it was crazy. I think he, Tony said, hey Dave, the first ever old school skate jam is taking place in Simi Valley, California. Uh, this is on a Wednesday or a Tuesday. He was speaking to me. It's taking place next Saturday. Um, you, I'm going. You should come. And I thought, yeah. <laughs> okay, what does that, what does, yeah, I'd love to, what does that entail? He goes, well, you need to get a ticket and a passport wouldn't hurt, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, um, and I was like, okay, literally, I don't know how, this is crazy because I, I got a passport by Thursday or Friday. I think I, I rushed it through. Did you help with that too? <laughs> I think I might have helped you with some of the things. Yeah, we said it was like unusual circumstances. I had to go. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. oh, right, like say a work thing or something. Yeah, just yeah. a deep seated yeah. love of skateboarding. <laughs> well, um, that, I saw it also as an opportunity as well, you know. Like, I, yeah. thought, I thought you should go. Thanks, Pete. Thanks a lot. And then I had a ticket and I was on the plane. But I said to Pete, Pete, oh, can I? I don't know if I said, can I go or I am going? I don't know what I said. But no, I said, you're going. Yeah. <laughs> and I knew, I knew it was a big deal to what just. A supporter. To have a f just to be working full time and still. Do you, do you remember all the girls at Yodgy's crying when you weren't going to yeah. be there for Christmas? It wasn't a dry seat. <laughs> it wasn't a dry seat in the house. Poor goat. <laughs> um, How was it over there? It was amazing. But when I, yeah, it was amazing. Um, we just sort of hung around in California, went to that jam. Mm -hmm. I met Dwayne Peters. Just and, a quick update. Well, Second piss time for Brandon. Yeah. Well, yeah. he's making me look good because my bladder is useless. And well, look at me go. I'm strictly yeah. one can in, one can out. So <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. laws of physics, really. Mm. So Let's go back to for letting you For letting you go, I'd love you to, finish, when you finish up on the story, yeah. just tell the skateboarding community how one of your early day mentors came home with a new nickname as well. Tiny. Oh, that was funny. Um... <laughs> Oh, because I guess we have strong Aussie accents or whatever, and everyone, people, and now I'd know to maybe to talk in to talk to someone in America. Maybe you don't uh, just to communicate easier. Maybe don't don't be super Aussie because they often just can't understand what the hell you're saying, you know. And um, but back then I didn't know or think about that. And people would say, "Hi, I'm so and so," and say, "Hi, I'm Dave. I'm Dave," and they'd be like, "Dive." Like, is that your name? Like, dive into a dive? swimming pool? Is that? Well, I remember I stayed, we stayed at, um, it wasn't Chris Strope, but we stayed, I met Chris Strope, I stayed at his house actually, which amazing. was amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Tony has a strong relationship with him from back in New Zealand. And um, anyway, we are staying at, it wasn't their house, it was someone else's house. Doesn't matter. But yeah, this, this, the wife of this guy just said, dive. Is that? That's an unusual name, like dive into a, <laughs> dive into a river or something, you know. <laughs> and um, I'm like, no, it's, it's like it's Day, David, David. She's like, oh, Dave, okay. And Tony just thought that was so funny that I was dive. Like, and he just kept going, come on, dive, let's get out of here. And you should have made this pro board a just dive, dive board. Yeah, totally. <laughs> that would have been dive. cool. Next dive. model, next the model. Diving board. But then one day, get on a round one or... night, we were out meeting some other people and... I said, oh, hi, I'm Dave. Dave is my name. And that got through. And then Tony introduced himself and said, um, he goes, hi, I'm Tony. And the guy just goes, I remember he shook his hand. And this guy just goes, huh, like, that's a funny name. And he's like, what? He goes, Tiny. <laughs> that's a really funny name, Tiny. And I was like, ha, ha, Dive and Tiny. It's pretty funny. 
that was the story. But then I came back from the, the, this two week trip and one of the owners, who I will never hear, hear or see this interview ever, will I, Pete? Um, Stuff him. He came up to me, the most passive aggressive, well, to be fair, I deserved it. I, I had just ran away for two weeks in my first ever job, but the way he came up to me, the most passive aggressive thing, he came up to me and he goes, <laughs> he goes, so yeah, how's your, with a big grin, how's your, how was your trip to uh, America, Dave? How's that? I said, oh, it was really good. I could picture Thanks, that Dennis. grin as well. Um, yeah. it, was, it was pretty amazing, yeah. And he goes, so what, you just thought you could, just thought you could leave? <laughs> did you? Yeah. Yeah, so you just pop off to your America, did you? So I was like, uh, how's a 20 year old kid to deal with that kind of. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I, copped, I copped all the actual aggressive stuff. Yeah. So, in, Thanks, Pete. In, in behind the scenes, but that's all right. Thank you so much. It was, yeah. I just, you should get some ex Yogi employees to say it was okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, totally. Endorsements. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I was, even later on, <laughs> for years, but being easily distracted, I was the best. I was good at retail because I was good at meeting people and talking to people, but yeah, yeah. I wasn't good overall, you know. Like no, I, no, no, you got good. I thought that you were good by the end. Yeah, one of the things you were good at was going out the back to find a set of shoes and end up being on Facebook for an hour or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. You know, dog dogging the customer. <laughs> it's, an e it's sort of an easy job, retail, but it's, it's still, as, like anything, you've got to learn a lot of procedures, don't you? So Yeah. yeah. And so, you could ask, I think between you and... Mappy, Anthony Mapstone, we can talk about how I was. I think I got a bit, a bit, a bit lazy sometime in uh, my days at Fast Times, which is, I probably shouldn't admit, but I probably wasn't on fire. I was probably trying to do comedy. You know, my mind was probably elsewhere. Elsewhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, out of your skateboarding career, you were ne you've all sort of talked down your skateboarding a little bit, but you have had a photo in a magazine, is that correct? Yep. You were pretty excited about that about a year ago? Was it the Andrew in Slam in Slam magazine? You had a photo. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Pivot Fakey, I think. No, I think it was a. Was it? It was a terrible sweeper. A sweeper. Yeah. That's mm. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were pretty excited about that because. Why were you excited about it? Well, I guess I'd probably always wished I could have had a photo in a magazine, um, but it's still. It, I, I I feel funny about that because it was the the text that I had to write. It was about a comedian that's a skateboarder. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I was annoyed about it because, well, one, it was the Monday after the last night of the comedy festival, which is Sunday night it ends, and then that night is a huge, ridiculous party. Yeah, yeah. big and, relief. Yeah, and it can go all night. And there was talk of that Anthony and Andrew would come with me somewhere to shoot a photo. And I was like, yeah, OK. And then I woke up after very little sleep and feeling hellish. And it was raining. I thought, oh, at least we won't be doing that photo today. That'll be good. And then Andrew said, "We're doing it. We'll find an. We'll go to the Port Melbourne. You know that little yeah, undercover place. Yeah. And I was like, really? I just this is bad. <laughs> and then Anthony was saying things like, just do a backside air or something. Just get it like a. I said, like, I can't do backside airs. You know, <laughs> like, do an invert. I was like, again, I can't do an invert. <laughs> and he was naming tricks that I literally can't do. I've never even really tried properly. And uh, so I thought I I used to do sweepers. I'll just do a sweeper, but. I thought I thought I did a very lame one, um, and there's nothing worse than a bad sweeper, really. I don't think. No, there's probably things worse. Um, they come up right in bad. photo. War, bad, <laughs> Global yeah. warming's not great, but um, <laughs> but a bad sweeper is pretty shit, and a lot of them are bad, according to Lance Mountain. Um, and uh, so I think I did a sort of an average one because I didn't hadn't done them for years. But then on top of that, uh, it was great, still a great photo from Andrew. But um, I. Uh, was it? Um, the text was totally um, edited by Trent Fahey, which, which I didn't know was going to happen. So all these things were changed. Not even just edited out, were whole chunks Not of just cut, which were changed. changed. Yeah, and because I have to write, and I'm, cons and I'm a writer, whether I like it or not, as a comedian, like I, so I find that hard to sort of look exactly. at that, yeah. look at that um, article, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. Because I deliberately put things in there that. Were, were suited me and that I thought I'd, I'd like to say this, it'd be funny. Yeah, yeah. And it changed. You sort of sucked, to me, the life was sucked out of it a little bit. Your yeah. character. Messed up the punchline. Yeah. Yeah, walked all over it. <laughs> and then recently you were in um, a vegan magazine. I didn't yeah. even know there was a no, vegan magazine. Yeah, I saw that. We can on, edit this out, though. I saw that on <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> no, yeah. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. You um, posted it in the, in the, on Facebook. That's out there. Um, How would you get involved? Was that because you're a vegan skateboarder? Because that's not uncommon. 
Or is it because you're a vegan comedian? Uh, probably, probably vegan, full stop. But a vegan comedian. That's how those people that do that magazine know me. Yeah. Right. Um, I, the girl that wrote that article, is part of the Adelaide vegan. F I should point out, I'm a vegan, folks. I'm sorry. Hadn't noticed. Um, you wouldn't notice if you I, just tuned into this interview. Yeah, yeah, it's not true. like I've no. carried on about yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. That's length. actually one of the beauties of it. You haven't carried on about it. I bring it up, and I don't mean to put you on the spotlight no. because of it. But oh, yeah. that's all right. It's true. Yeah. Um, but uh, they, uh, they run the vegan festival in Adelaide. It's called, which is like a two-day festival in, and that's great. It's also people that don't like it as well, because veganism is that weird thing in the world where. Some people just think it's r ridiculous and can't understand why you would do it. But um, she knew me as a comedian. I hosted the vegan festival in Adelaide for two years. And so they knew me and she said, do you want to do an interview? That's all. That's how it came to be. There's a magazine. A vegan magazine. Yeah, yeah. Who the fuck buys it? I've got no idea. Yeah, weird. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, even I didn't buy a copy of it. I probably, <laughs> I probably should. And, uh, That's the thing, because I'm a vegan, but it's... Um, I'm a vegan in the same way that, like... You might be against, I don't know, murder or it's just a or natural. anything or yeah, it's natural. Or it's not if like you pr you probably don't appreciate the idea of like not to talk about it, but like rape or something. It's like I'm not going to buy an anti-rape magazine. Yeah, you don't need a magazine. For so I don't it. need a bloody. You don't need it's, the just, to me it's just it's just a, to me it's a common sense approach to life that makes sense. Yeah. So, but go vegan. Don't rape. <laughs> don't rape or murder. <laughs> uh, Bro, what have you got? Uh, we've had a few questions well, come in, have we? Uh, we got no, the, no statements. A few things rolling in there, but nothing, nothing that we can really go by. No abuse. N no, uh, surprisingly <laughs> not. I'm, I'm very surprised about yeah, that. Yeah, me too. Um, so now that you're a pro, oh, you've yeah. got a pro model board. Yeah. So I can see a big run. <laughs> yeah, we need to pull that back up again. Not a pro, what, by the what, way. What is brand there, is that, by the way, Dave? Um, it's the Exian Skateboard Company. I've heard of that. Yep, yeah, run by Anthony <laughs> and Andrew Mapstone. It's an in, it's a, a good old brand. It's been yeah, ten years. Know, it's yeah. not that old. <laughs> it's, it's, it's beyond it's beyond no, 1990, so it's years. not that old. I thought it was longer than ten. No, it's got to be more than that. Maybe, Andrew, maybe how long? Than, well, he said something. It's about already 10. 2019. There's got to be. I thought Exian actually, has got to have been around since oh, the 2000s. Oh, maybe 20 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's that? 20 years. I think it'd be at least. 20? Mid 2000s, early 2000s. Yeah. Okay. Four, yeah, I'm guessing. 400. Because yeah. the videos, but there wasn't videos anything. back then. Yeah. Um, yeah, but there was before Exian. Sorry, I don't know. I mean, they're my no, bloody the employer. The first couple were tweakage, tweakage one, tweakage two, then play. Which wasn't technically wasn't play Exian, and Exian video. Tweakage stuff. No, that was no, the boom, boom stuff. Well, that's when mm. the, yeah they were involved in substance and yeah. Andrew got a bad knee injury or something. Right, right. Prior to that though, there was no skateboarding. I think if you look at Tic Tac to heel flip, there was no. Didn't exist. There was a massive Didn't gap. Yeah, that. yeah. Stop drawing <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, is this conspiracy theory talk? <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah. No, no, no. I like it. Uh, uh, we're off track again. Back to that. So, uh, pro. Now, now, I'm now, a, now I'm the best pro. Uh, you. Are you training up to have a, a full run at Thrasher Skater of the Year? Yeah. Are we we going to see you're going to be working full time on, on getting clips, footage? Yeah, I think now that I'm doing less stand up, I think it's time to actually uh, live up to the skateboard and yeah. like, well, you've got be, to sell. You've be, got to like sell. Be, be like Niger or something. Yeah. You know? It must be a big contract. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go for Skater of the um, Millennial. Yeah. Mill Millennium. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, shoot for it, man. <laughs> I love, though, that it's something that it doesn't matter about the level of skating that you're at or have been at or anything, but there can be something like that that exists. So it's Well, I good. do too, yeah. I mean, it, it's pretty cool. It's cool that, like, um, I don't know, that, that, that those guys wanted to just do it at all, mm. you know? I think yeah. part of it, though, is, is right. like... It's pretty cool. Like, I haven't skated with you for ages, but I, I know that skating with you, it's sort of a... It epitomises what skating's all about. You just have a fun session, yeah. good time, no rules. Do some good flowy tricks, good rule, you know, good skating and everything like that. So it's it's not about being the most tech guy or whatever. Yeah, yeah. The fact that it's, I think it's just more about you and your personality and you know being the epitome of skateboarding. Really, I think that's what Thank it's all you. about. That's a nice thing. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's very true. Sincere, like it's, so I didn't recognise no, it no, coming it's, from you. Yeah, I, no, no, I'm very rarely <laughs> sincere. So I was like, are these work. This was like white boys on here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actual, mm. uh, someone did you, saying did your mum write them. So <laughs> yeah. the board itself, 
Mm. Um, uh, uh, you described maple. the graphics. Maple. Uh, yeah. You described the graphics Wood? to us yeah. earlier. People don't know. Mm. Made of Canadian maple. What? What's yeah. that? You described the origin for the graphics a bit earlier on. Oh yeah. Uh, off camera. In a short term. In a, a short version. Yeah. The, off camera, we it well. Was quite long. I mentioned earlier that it's designed by Rob Wilshire, um, my my dear old friend and skateboarder and graphic designer, and he freelancer. This is a uh, this is an actual painting in his house that I always thought was cool. I won't go into the whole details, but he just took a photo of it and uh, we came up with the font. We kept it simple. The only reason why my name is as big as it is, which I cop a bit of shit about putting it that big, understandably, but my girlfriend said, if you're gonna do it, just do it, put it, yeah, just go off with it. And yeah. I'm like, okay, it's, I am embarrassed about it. But it's like I may as well own the damn thing. You know what I mean? Well, it encourages board yeah. slides, perhaps. You know? Just rub it right you off. You can scratch yeah. it all away. It'll and come off. Uh, and it'll go yellow. What is a special model? What is this special model? What is that in reference to? How does that work? That just... Well, because skateboards... I, I always... I think it's funny. I thought the board just needed something else. There's the logo, the brand, XN. There's my name. And there's a picture. I just thought it needed something else, as subtle as it might be. I thought it needed to have something else on there written. Mm. I mean, in my eyes, how I do think I keep it? Yes, you would call it an so, appreciation model. So it's not you, a pro you, model. It's it's an appreciation. Where it it's came, is this a thank new you, Dave, of life? for your being involved in skating? Like that's yeah, well, that's it. Like I, thank I, you I hope that that's what involved. the board does or is. But the word special model just came from Rob and I sitting around just thinking. We realised how funny it is that a skateboard you'd call it a model. Like oh, this is the new model. So and so, this is could be, could be a new career. Just the fact that the word model is used, like like it's a car or something. Mm -hmm. Like yep. it just seems really dumb. That it's a better word than version. Mm. True, you true. Can't say this is version one. So to me, it's the word special is not meant to be offensive to anyone or anything, but it just seems funny that it's I've called this. It's a special model. Mm. It's, a, it's a special. Like model. you, though. That's I'm yeah. a special. You're model. a special yeah. model. Yeah, yeah. And it definitely. Is, Board, it's obviously got your name all over it. So, how many boards did you receive for your participation in having your name on a board? I have. I was given one special model. Dave one Quirk special model, and which is Rob quite unusual. One. I think no, Pete's it's not. Got something. I'm going to acquire one, a couple more. I think one There's is the top quite unusual. Well, which, this is quite. Oh, are you trying to show the concave? No, he's yeah, actually got something. Just gave it to you. You now have two. Uh, uh, oh, this is for me. Is. Yeah, I want, yes. but I want the bolts back. Bullshit. Unless you're going to hang it up, <laughs> unless you're hang it up in the house. You can keep the Pete, bolts. Pete, you don't have to do that at all. You... Well, that one's from Tony. <laughs> this is, a, this <laughs> is an amazing present for yesterday. Thank you, Pete. That, the Goliath Skate Shop. Yeah, and I oh, think that's great. so cool that I, I didn't realise it was such a such a small amount that you would receive for your own name on a board. So I think that's an amazing thing that Pete's arranged there. Thank and, you, Pete. Yeah. We we actually going to stock them. So, in the shop, really? we actually we're investing in. That's what I'm mean. Investing in Dave. I guess I've realised there's a lot of love. Um, hmm. People have like uh, on Instagram, friends of mine, uh, like Dave Stag. Do you remember Dave Stag? Yeah. Do you know him? Good He's guys a, like the that. The window baron. Yes, he is. He's a window merchant. <laughs> um, I'm intrigued about that. He um, <laughs> makes windows. Basically. He's a legend. Oh, okay. He's a good dude. Really <laughs> but, lovely guy. There's not too much to it, but he. Uh, Several people like him have said they've used this term. It's well deserved, which I yeah. which I thought is that are yeah. they taking the piss? No, no. Because no. I, I realise people Again, actually think this. I'm like, this is really nice that people think that I actually deserve this because I don't. I don't really think that. As an appreciation. But I'm glad model. about it. and I'm happy. But to because it'd be weird to think I deserve it. I, well, I don't but think the fact you've that offended people anyone said, I'm like, in skateboarding, is... and that's something that not many people do. Yeah, that's true. And so why not? So hey, you deserve no, it because you're a good dude. That's what it's about. It's really amazing. True, it, yeah. It, it right. probably is. Thanks, Pete. It probably is one one of the top couple of few things that's ever happened to me is for getting into skateboarding. Because mm. I never, uh, I never asked anything from skateboarding. You know, it's just it wasn't like um, comedy or anything that I do as a performer. Because I guess I love that, but I got into it as a professional whether I like mm, it or not, yeah, whether I am yeah. or not but I you know tried to make money off it and live off it yeah. whereas skateboarding it was just just uh, passion. Sort of passion you know passion. And yeah, yeah. the fact that like something like this has sort of come back is is pretty amazing mm. yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. great and just as a quick as silly canvas across the room any of you boys got a pro model no, anyone here got a pro model? I think no, no, no I got written Aaron? into a song no. though, as you know. That was oh, you're in a song. Yeah, <laughs> the penguin's in a song. Immortalised. Yeah. It's a so song called Skate Park. It is, uh, well, <laughs> it is well deserved. 
Thank and you. Uh, and Thank I'm you. really stoked that it exists and stoked that we're able to pull it out today and get you in, in front of the camera and the microphones and have a chat about it all because Me too, man. Uh, your story is a little bit different. There's a few guys that grew up in the country and ended up in Melbourne, but uh, your involvement in the industry has been great across that period as well. That's amazing. Um, just quickly, have we got any uh, any Sincerity. messages come in? Any? No. I'm scrolling there. Any faxes? Yep. No. It could be yeah, I'll check the roof for pigeons in a minute. Yeah. See if there's anything. <laughs> any mail? Did you check the mailbox, Aaron? Any mail? Any mail? No mail. No? I thought um, we got something there from uh, uh, big fans. Anyone? No, no notes from big fans? No notes. All right. Well, we'll fill in that post-production. We'll add that in. Uh, yep. Big fan mail. Oh, a question for you before we... Because we, I sense we're wrapping up. Mm. Well, getting close to it. I was going to ask if there were any other questions, but... You fire well, let me just ask this. Yeah, fire uh, Let me ask you one, Dean. I have it on authority that now I don't know where I got this from. And I, I certainly don't think it was you that told me this, but that you tell me about this. I have heard that you were the first person to skate a handrail in in Melbourne, a board slide or something. Uh, Is that possibly true? Uh, no, because I remember going out with Fungus, mm. who we went out. And what was did, his name? Uh, his Fungus. Yes, Andrew, but born, his, that's his birth name? Yeah, I doubt that. It came out, it was a bit rank when he came out. No, Andrew. Uh, he's, right. But he, um, uh, we went out skating and he and I did handrail, caveman handrails, not, right. not ollieing on, but jumping onto the handrail and we did that and that was pretty, um, pretty new, pretty, pretty groundbreaking. New at the time, yeah. It was only a really short handrail. And just the other day, I actually took Sarah uh, and showed her one of the handrails that I first did, which was a proper eight-stair sort of rail and stuff like that. What year was that? Uh, like Not when you took Sarah. 86. You know, I was going to say 86 or something. <laughs> what year was that? Sounds great. But it, it, <laughs> there is week. no way in the world that I could um, say that I was the first or know yeah, that yeah. I was no, the no, first. Close. Skating I, is I so think, varied. I think yeah. ollieing onto handrails, you would have been one, one of the, the earlier yeah, yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah, possibly yeah. ollieing onto handrails. Possibly ollieing possibly, onto yeah. and doing a proper ollie handrail. Yeah. 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 First Maybe. from East Keeler, perhaps. This so you, makes sense. You can't Let's say it. the first from Gungal and Drive. <laughs> we'll put it that way. <laughs> he did yeah, get definitely it. the first. He did get it before me. Yeah, he beat you, Grant. I don't know if you've done a handrail. so I've done plenty of handrails. Yeah, come on. You know, hey, even on, if we boys. go to a skate park, they all hit no, no. rails. Over stairs. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> Sibling right. Even now, it's come funny on, because not, we'll go to a park and I'll hit the rails there and Dean <laughs> seriously can't even, he won't even hit a flat bar. He just starts crying. <laughs> He'll never get a pro model with that, it? Just rolls on the ground. Like, as he's going to, he this just is... sort of collapses and rolls onto the ground, like, in a, a sort of this a is not about... defensive pose. This is about Dave. Dave. Oh, sorry. Dave. Dave. That's fine. There's yeah. more of that. I'm sure so, Dave, will, Dave to, will probably hit a hand. To summarise your yeah. question, I, I cannot definitively say a yes or no. It's a similar question to Pete no. and the uh, first sponsored skateboard. I was probably the first street skater sponsored by a proper company rather than a shop. But uh, it's a, the timeline and the understanding of the industry is you, you don't know. No, then. totally. And yeah. that's kind of the answer I would have I sort of expected, I thought, because I know you were probably at, at there at the time and yep. doing stuff really early. But that's great. Because mm. I was talking to Greg Stewart and he was telling me that there was a guy, his name I've forgotten. It was like a two-syllable name, like Tom Fu or something. Or I can't remember. Greg Coyne. I can't remember. But he said, oh, this guy was maybe one of the first to do... Does anyone else, do you remember any other cats on the scene? Not, were, I don't know. Wouldn't it be uh, Harry? Harry Thorne was later. No, later. he was later. No, much later. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, there, was, um, there was a picture in a magazine of someone down uh, Commercial Road, St Kilda Road corner. There, there was a place just there with a little handrail and there was a picture of someone on that handrail. But I can't remember who it was now. Um, no. Mm, interesting. That's my question yeah. to you. But that was all. That was after I'd already done them. But yeah, yeah. So the stuff that came in magazines was after. So yeah. I'd love to go. We need to go skating again. I'd we do. To, that's what one of the best things in the world. After this? And skating with you. Oh, is I've, so got, cool. I've got my little birthday party. So after it's actually because oh, it was sweet. your birthday. And so speaking, you've yesterday also... was a mugs game <coughs> as an actual birthday, but today yeah, I'm yeah. Um, so having a few. Smash it. Today turned... I'm having a few single fins by Gage to celebrate. Mm. So you turned 38 yesterday, but. When did you get your license, your driver's license? Uh, I think I was 38. 37. <laughs> it was only 37, recently. sorry. Yeah. I literally got full license last year. We don't yeah. have to talk about that. It's, it's amazing to me. because But I, I had a motorbike license. So 
They re entered my motorbike license with the car, which blew my mind because it had lapsed. I'd what lost the license. You had that Thruxton? Yeah, yeah, that was the last is motorbike. It still, what, what it's probably around. Mean? I sold it. Hopefully, the bloke's still got it. Yeah. It's a good little bike. Yeah, do you yeah. need any assistance in learning to drive? Because I know someone. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could get better at driving a manual, to be honest. I won't lie. All right, let's do that. Um, yeah. Too many, lo- too much time on trams yeah, and yeah. stuff. In, in yeah, well, you know, you don't need city. a car. I've learned. I learned that for how I was living. I didn't need a car. Now I own a car because I acquired it through my dad, and uh, I realise how annoying it is to own a car. Like if you don't have a parking <laughs> space and you live in the city, you yeah. see the weird, oh, the weird annoying, yeah. gymnastics I have to do to try and get free parking. It's pretty <laughs> brilliant, actually. Huh. I woke up at 4:30 this morning just to move it out of a actual car park in the city on Flinders Lane because at, at six o'clock you have to pay another after six, day. It pays it goes up to eighty bucks. But if oh. you move it before six AM, it's only fifteen bucks. So I moved a car down to the city skate park, to Riverside Skate Park, where it's free parking till Monday morning. <laughs> <laughs> I have to do that sort of stuff. Just What oh, a life. Wow. It's, it's like a business See, dodging tax. That's how I live, just dodging Dodging parking. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Just park it near a railway station, I suppose. Yeah. Just not, park it not in the river, western suburbs. It's going. Just get rid of it. I'm sick it's of it. Easier. Park at my house. I'll now I'm go. paying for insurance for a car I drive, you know, once every two months. It's like, oh, mm. I hope it gets stolen. Doesn't seem to work. Someone uh, might boost it on the way home from Rivers one night. Boost. You could get lucky. Boosted. <laughs> boost. That's one <laughs> of the great gangsters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How, how are you going with questions, Pete? You got something else there, or is he? It's know. been pretty. But you've been doing everything. okay with telly and stuff like that. We've seen you. You're on Rosehaven again. A little bit, Pete. Little yeah. Bit, yeah. yeah, not mm-hmm. much. Rose okay. Haven. It's quite. How's that role? Do they um, do they tell you to sort of be the type of character you are, or do you just kind of take it on and, and they went, "That's cool. That character fits." With that, they, the, the way it was, the, I wasn't able to allowed or even asked or anything like that to change any of the the lines. Nor should I be, but. Um, the lines were just written, and so I read them, and I think I think I know what they, who this guy, what they want here, mm-hmm. how they should be said, or at least not even how, but they had me in mind when they wrote the character. Right, yeah. uh, Luke, and because Luke the people who wrote it McGregor knew you were ready as well. Yeah, and so they thought, so they'd written it sort of with me in mind, and yeah. so that's just what comes out. So if that yeah. makes sense, yeah. Yeah. Weirdo. And being in the comedy world, uh, podcasting or video casting, as we're doing, pod, yeah. is uh, is quite common. Mm. You uh, you appear on quite a few different. Podcast, Dum Dum Club, and yeah, sometimes and, yeah. yeah. Uh, who do you think I? Uh, how do you? Uh, uh, who do you think I am? Yeah, what, what jo- Josh Earls. Yeah, Josh yeah. Earl. uh, Quite a lot of those sort of things. So, how how do we stack up? As a, uh, I mean, good. you haven't had to perform today, have you? So, how good is that? You're no, honest. it's very. It's this is good, but this is again. This this reminds me of those podcasts. But I'm uh, a bit of skateboarding with guys that I know and really love. So it's different in that regard. You know, I sort of. I have to perform a little bit because <laughs> I can't just be a mug just sitting You don't there. get this stuff for yeah. not performing. Yeah, yeah. that's, it. that's, that's it. what it's all about. But uh, I hope I haven't been too sincere today. No, this has been good. No, it's a good balance. It's and nice. I've been, uh, again, from the very start, I said, I, I, I know you, but I don't know you. And, and that's really fantastic to be able to sit here and have a chat about some of those other things that are in between the points that I know and uh, time frames I know. So it's really interesting to hear the stories and hear how... Um, skateboarding has been a part of your life because it is different for everyone yeah. um, but the yeah. fact that it's such a part that it's turned into a, a, an appreciation model and all the rest of it it's it's great it really is Thanks, and so. yeah. as we've already said skating with you is always fun so we're keen to get back and do that again let's all go skating so. together yeah. even people let's watching do. yeah everyone who's watching on the board we're all too. going skating so. well, it won't be today for me, but <laughs> not, not today but skating. keep on keep on the site we'll update you when we're going skating with quirk yeah yeah i love um, it yeah as a quick, before we finish wrapping up, just a couple of quick, uh, I suppose, what you would call maybe the, the housekeeping. Um, so we do have a, a bunch more amazing guests coming up, both myself looking after a range of interviews with some fantastic crew and Lucas also looking after some interviews with some fantastic crew. Legend. Um, there are some, honestly, I know the names that are in the list and there's going to be some really good ones in the book there. So get on board, keep on board like the Facebook page and, and get updates when we uh, are getting these guys out there. Um, and also the support that we mentioned earlier on. So um, Sandy Jarrett and Junior Penne are both currently have supported a bit of cash flow into the Fund Me. Is it Fund oh, Me, Aaron? What hey, fundraiser. 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 Actually, fundraiser. Yeah. 
fundraiser and Last slash night. their side, whatever. Mum kicked in twenty bucks as well, so I've got some cash in my pocket to hand over for. Mum kicked in twenty yeah, bucks. Kicked in. Hang on, is that ten dollars each or is that? She no, no, that's twenty via me. Dean, yeah. Dean has he got nothing to do he's with it. This is yeah. Mum via me because so I'm number one. Fundraiser.com slash their side or whatever. Find it that way. Maybe is that correct? Off, off the Facebook page. Yeah, there's a link on the, the Facebook, Facebook page. page, and and it really is like literally any little amounts go a long way. Um, yeah. What we have here, and again, the cameras don't show up, but there is three dudes back there. There is a range of computers and uh, cameras and microphone setups and all the rest of it, um, and the venue itself. You know, everything, none of it comes for free. The venue does because Pete's fantastic. Uh, Dave's wage is going to be huge, so uh, we've got yeah. to pay that. He's my, a pro now. Uh, from the city. Yeah, and uh, it's $4.70. I actually didn't touch on, so and I saw those dogs. Yeah, they, they didn't get me today, but you don't have to put in for that. Yeah, they were in plain clothes, those dogs. Because oh. you're a skateboarder, they were scared. Yeah. Because you're, you know, you, they know how evil you can be. Yeah, yeah. Um, but honestly, get on board and, and throw in a couple of bucks here and there. We'll read your name out. We'll say some funny stuff about your name too, if you want. Um, let us know. We'll put some funny comments on there because we can be quite harsh. Um, we'll mention how high you ollie or don't, if need be. Uh, so, and there are other supporter packages you can get on board with if you are a uh, lovely company that has some product that we would love to sample or uh, even one of our, uh, some of our people who are listening or watching would love to sample. So get Why on not? board and support that. It's your birthday. Why not? Um, looking forward to our future events, so make sure you stay tuned with everything. Share, like, subscribe. We'll be back next week or when we're, whenever we feel like it with another episode, and we would love to see you involved in that. On the other side, Is it Matt Rogers listen. next week? Matt Rogers. No, we've got the week after. I think next week is a uh, is the big raffle draw. Um, so keep on board for that because they can turn into oh, an absolute yeah. nightmare. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> they are the, actually the subscription alone just for those events. Um, but beyond that, I think we'll have uh, Junior might be up next. Okay, but right. just, uh, just yeah. on a thing. I think they've raised over nine grand or something, haven't they? For that, for that charity, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I don't know the numbers Amazing. yet, but that's well uh, it's fantastic. Yeah, so, well done, yeah. actually, should shout out to the skate community and and everyone for getting that done. Um, Stevie Joyer and and all the team yep. that have put that together Steve's for Chas. Because great skateboarder, like everyone yep. knows, Chas obviously. Fantastic but, dude. Yeah, you know. absolutely. Last week I I went not skateboarding with him. He didn't quite skateboard, but we skated. He was hanging around. He was hanging around. It was the funnest no, day. It's great. The funnest it's great. day. Yeah, yeah. Um, and on that note of future guests. We have uh, been sort of doing a bit of a who would you like to invite on as the next? Do you have a pass along uh, guest that you would Does like us to invite? Yeah, yeah. We may not get them on, but Johnny McGrath. <laughs> that's a bad, bad yeah, one. Yeah. I've got I've got Johnny, Johnny, uh, Johnny in the Johnny in the a barrel. Of weeks ago. Uh, right, yeah, for yeah, our dude. Yeah. Um, yep. And what about a pass along what question? What about someone like so, or something? Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, back yeah, in Adelaide, yeah, but Adelaide's yes, he's up. on my list as well. Um, I don't know. Just just guys that sort of. Yeah, they got a lot, would have a lot of knowledge and yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, we've got a few people on the list in that regard, so it's good. What about a pass along question? We don't haven't really done this yet, but it would be cool if we did something where, regardless of who the next guest is, we can throw to them a question that comes from you. Um, and it can be random. It can be about goats if you want it to favorite be. Favorite skate animal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spirit skate. Number one animal. mondo trick. Yeah. Um, Why don't we see more monocles? What was it, a monocle? No, a magnifying, magnifying glass. glass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why don't people use those more often? Um, what about... I'll, I'll keep it skate-related. It's something I'm interested in. Yep. Um, how about... Um, can you do... It's probably a no to the most skaters. Can you do frontside inverts? Ooh. And if you can't do them, would you like to learn them? And if not... Why the fuck not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is rad. And the it's other like part about frontside inverts. There's no invert. excuse. It's the best. It's frontside the, inverts, yeah. if you uh, on the Jeff Grosso sort of style of things, there are a lot of guys that do a frontside kind of hand plant air. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the But a air frontside is invert tight. is yeah. like a proper get it up, stall it, and, you know, bring it back. So that's the version we want people to do. Yeah, yeah. We yeah don't I'd want... take anything if I could do it. I'm gonna, I, I hope one. to learn before I'm 40. Honest, something, let's some go learn. Version. Them. Hang I'm going to put my helmet on. Yeah, Heaps, of time. Luke Foster. Heaps of time for you to do You should that. get Luke Foster on. Dean yeah. has an invert board. That's a good board. one, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, Dean actually has an invert board set up. 
Ready to I, go. I did. <laughs> just wipe you. He does, yeah. I did. I got myself a board that I said, this is going to be my pool board, and in the pool, I'm going to do a front side invert. You know, that's I'm ridiculous. Not so, it is. This is yeah, I've seven, not done it. Seven, I've not five. done it. Well, I've got to do a piss. Yeah, I've got to piss. Yeah. Uh, I think Thanks, we're out. Everyone. That's been amazing. It's been awesome. Dave. Thanks, Jim. Thank you very much. It's been fantastic. Thank you, Thank you Grant. Thank you, Pete, for letting and, me have uh, that time off and for being uh, a champ forever. No Thank worries, you. Dave. Yeah. Forcing um, me to have that time off. <laughs> we look forward to seeing you all again next week or whenever we're back again. Cheers. Peace out. Thanks, folks. Excellent. Awesome stuff. Yeah. yeah.